What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Flagrant Two No Easy Buckets Analysis by Assholes Water Cooler Commentary for Your Sports Needs. I'm Andrew Schultz. I'm here with Akash Singh. Yep, yep. Um, real life Kaz is uh, is not in the building right now. Hopefully, he will be joining us soon. He has once again prioritized something else over us. Uh, a TV show. Uh, sp- what is it? SNY. SNY. Come on, son. <laughs> Come on, son. What is SNY? Bruh. What is it? Shitty New York. Oh, wow. But what is it? <laughs> wow. Is it is it a cable show? I honestly don't know what it is. It's an Instagram page. I know that they have an Instagram page. Yeah, I'm asking you a serious question. Yeah, it's a network of some kind, but I don't know the channel. I see the commercials. <sighs> Not SAG. Shit is non-union commercials. It's the only channel that's willing to play the Mets. Oh, <laughs> is it the Mets channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Yankees have uh, yes and the Mets have S and one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not gonna waste any more time on Kaz's poor decision making, but <laughs> we we have to say that this episode is brought to you by Get It Up at In, our very own liquor sponsor. That's Hell right. Yeah. Skeptic Distillery. Okay. <laughs> A few of you guys were DMing me and asking me over the weekend about finding the brand of vodka and gin in your local stores. Now listen up, Skeptic Distillery is found online. Okay, at skepticdistillery.com. That's right. You can get it online. How convenient is that? You don't even have to go to the fucking liquor store. You just order that shit online. Okay, we want to help you get them. We want to help get them in stores too. Don't get me wrong. Okay, we want them in bars everywhere. We want you to pull up to your local watering hole and you see that skeptic distilled vodka right there. You see that gin right there. Look at that brand. Look at that bottle. That's a beautiful bottle. That straight up. Official. Straight up. That's a nice bottle. I don't even drink. I'll have that in the house just because. There you go. <laughs> it's display. There you go. All right. Skeptic Distillery is found online. Remember that, but we're going to work on it. We're going to get in there. Okay. Now, I told you guys this a couple weeks ago. Uh, for those of you who are new listeners, Skeptic's custom built distills, okay, allow the vodka and gin to be cold brewed essentially okay they're cold brew alcohol this is the first alcohol brand that's doing this on the planet they're all gonna jump on board you know how much better cold brew coffee is right i'm having some cold brew coffee right now so that's the idea cold brew coffee killing the game nobody gets regularized coffee you get some cold brew right this is gonna be natural Every vodka and every gin, every whiskey brand is going to do it, and they're going to be copying Skeptic. Okay, so right now we're turning like Skeptics to, to believers, right? Think cold brew coffee, my man. That cold juice press, remember that shit? The results of the spirits are incredibly smooth and bursting with fresh flavor. Let me tell you, not only are they proven to be delicious, they've won awards for it, okay? Swept the USA Spirits Awards earning gin and vodka of the year and best in show for its gin and the awards keep rolling in. I mean, you could just order it and speak for yourself. Order the bottle. Tell us tell tell us tell us if it's not the most smooth and flavorful gin or vodka that you've ever tried. And by flavor, I don't mean those added flavors, right? Like peach or another. I'm talking about the actual flavor of vodka. Skeptic gin and won best in its category in the American uh, Distilling Institute Conference this past March. And Skeptic Vodka just earned double gold at the Consumer Base SIP Awards. Okay? We're not playing no games out here. All right. Major artists and influencers, rep liquor brands, and the smart brands attach themselves to popular influencers. This is why Skeptic fucks with us. All right? This one right here. Is specifically for you guys listening and watching right now. Each bottle is 750 milliliters. That's a lot of fucking liquor. Now, if you're not a big drinker, order one for someone that you know and ask them what they think. You can purchase bottles at shop.skepticdistillery.com or go to skepticdistillery.com and click on the shop button. Use our promo code FLAGRANT, and you know what? You get 20% off all purchases, and any purchase over $100 will receive free shipping. Use the promo code FLAGRANT. That's what you got to do. Okay? 20% off and free shipping with everything over $100. The first five assholes to order at least $100 worth of bottles not only will receive free shipping, but they'll also get a dope skeptic snapback hat. Edin, bring that shit up on the street. Look at that. God damn. Lacing you up. Keeping you fresh. All right? Now, now that you're out here drunk, now that you're out here feeling a little bit tipsy, feeling a little good about yourself, what are you going to do? 
shave your pubes. Matter of fact, do that before. I would recommend doing that right before. And how are you going to do it? You're going to do it Manscaped. This episode is also brought to you by Manscaped. Look at my flagrant media guys killing the game right now. All right. One of my favorite products, aside from all the good stuff that Manscaped has to offer, is the Crop Mop. Now, they're the gr- it is basically the grown men version of baby wipes. Okay. You use them after a good workout, throughout the day, when you're a little sweaty, when you have a fucking hemorrhoid like I do. Okay. <laughs> Let that gooch get a nice little washing. You give it a quick Crop Mop. That's it. Okay. You can use it after a nice fuck. I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs> Some of us don't like to shower after fucking. I personally like to just wash my dick in the sink. That's what I do with my dick. I don't go in the shower. I just wash my dick in my pubic re- region after I fuck. Okay? You could do that with these crop mops. That's what you got to do. It's not too late to order yourself, order people that you love, some products from Manscaped. Don't forget to get your lawnmower 2.0. Shave up them pubes. Guys who are Manscaped saying that that is the one that's been killing it. That means you got a lot of assholes out there with their, their nicely trimmed, nicely tucked. Okay, it's the only trim with skin safe technology for a smooth shave every time, everywhere. It's That's quiet. worth the money by itself. There you go. You don't want quiet. no nicks down there. Quiet so the world doesn't have to know you're shaving your crotch. It's also waterproof so you can shave yourself in a shower. Assholes, there's no reason you should be shaving your body and balls with the same razor. I don't know how many times we got to tell you this, but if you're doing that, you're a wild motherfucker. Okay? You're a wild motherfucker. So if you haven't purchased anything, hurry up. Head over to manscaped.com. Use our promo code flagrant to save 20% off anything purchased and get free shipping anytime you or anyone you know uses our code at checkout. Okay? That's manscaped.com. You use the promo code flagrant. Save 20% off anytime you or anyone you know uses that code at checkout. Manscaped is the number one company in male hygiene. They got the anti-chafing deodorants, the ball moisturizers, the whole deal. Manscaped.com, offer code flagrant, 20% off. Yo, um, I got some dates, man. I want y'all to come out to this Matador tour. Thank you guys so much for sharing the clips, man. All these clips going viral was fucking insane, and that's what's happening at the Matador tour, so don't miss out, all right? This weekend, Thursday through Saturday, I'm going to be at Denver Comedy Works, one of the best comedy clubs in the entire world, unbelievably intimate space. Um, just really great for comedy. The whole thing is curated for great comedy. So come on out. Denver Comedy Works, downtown location. Uh, and then Sunday, Houston, early show sold out. We added a late show because I fuck with y'all, man. I only come once a year, so I want to be there for you. There so you we go. added the late show. Come get some of that. Uh, and then after that, we have the Toronto show. Early show sold out. Second show we added. Okay, those ticks are, tickets are going. Tell your friend. Tell the world. Tell a mundo. Do all that shit. <laughs> come through, Toronto. All right? You know I fuck with y'all. So come through. It's going to be crazy. July 13th. We're going to make it happen. And then also, special announcement. Uh, just for last, Montreal people, my Montreal assholes, we're going to be doing two very cool shows for the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. We're going to be doing an Inside Joke show. That's the show that you've probably seen on my YouTube channel. Uh, where comics are workshopping our most divisive and fucked up and evil material, trying to find the funny in it. Then we're also going to do an unsafe sets show where I'm just going to have a bunch of comics come through and they're going to do their craziest bits. So it's going to be very fun, very unique experiences. Off, uh, you know, it's going to be late night shows. I think both of them are like 11:45. Let's get wild. Let's get a little fucked up and let's have some funky, cool, comedic experiences. Uh, theandrewshows.com for that and more dates. We keep on adding dates. Obviously, Russia, pull the fuck up. Australia, the word is out. Those tickets are moving. Get on that right now and many more dates. So go check out the website. Go for it, y'all. Boom. This Wednesday, I will be hosting a panel of uh, the hashtags. I'll be moderating the hashtag sports panel for the new movie, uh, A Kid from Coney Island with uh, Slam. It's a documentary on Stefan Marbury. Uh, Wednesday, June 26th at the New York Times Center in Times Square. Uh, my guy Dennis Page, the editor-in-chief of Slam, will be on the panel. Cootie Simmons, who was the, the filmmaker and the director of the movie, uh, will be talking about uh, Stefan Marbury, the legacy of Slam, and um, all good basketball stuff. And just come to the hashtag sports panel anyway. Like There's going to be a bunch of huge fucking uh, celebrities and, and sports people from the NBA, Nike, ESPN, NFL, Wherever. So uh, pull up there. It's at 10 a.m. at the fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. It is at the, um, yeah, Time Center 
at uh, 242 West 41st Street, New York, New York, 10036. Yo, uh... I'm good. We're going to start plugging next week. I'm, I'm going on tour. I'm headlining. Uh, I'm bringing my boy Donish yeah, with me. Yeah. He's going to feature for me. So we, we got a couple dates lined up. We're still going to line up more, but we're gonna start, I'm going to start plugging the actual dates next week. So let's just, uh, I'll announce it. Y'all support. We'll have fun. Yes, sir. And uh, oh, shit, I forgot. We got some Duce Palooza dates as well. This uh, July 19th, we'll be in Detroit, Michigan at the Majestic. Get your tickets on DucePalooza.com slash tickets. So many fucking assholes is in Los Angeles this past weekend, man. I was over overwhelming how many of y'all came up to and, and showed mad love so shout out to all y'all that that came through and of course this july 5th essence fest my man andrew schultz after he's done uh hosting essence fest will be doing duce palooza new orleans at the house of blues the show starts at 12 midnight it's 12 midnight it is a midnight party so make sure you pull up and uh yeah let's get back to the show essence fest hosted by andrew schultz you're gonna be out there <laughs> it's gonna be wild i'm gonna see if you can get me a guest pass we'll stop by duce palooza security <laughs> will not say anything as i walk in with no credential yes sir <laughs> let's start the fucking show <sighs> kaz was right can't kaz trust the cops was right can't trust the cops. You know what? We'll wait for Kaz to get here. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. I was wrong. But I'll let Kaz have his glory when he comes and he can tell me how right he was about the cops lying and how wrong I was about the cops lying. Maybe I have too much uh, faith in law enforcement. Maybe that's the case. It Maybe that's the case. Maybe I assume that these people that are paid to protect us are going to tell the truth. And maybe I should be a little bit more skeptic. Cole, did you see that? Well, see done, how we did that done. right there? Well, wow, done. double promo, double promo. Maybe I didn't distill this information <laughs> well enough the first time, okay? <laughs> and maybe if I had cold brewed it a little bit more in my head, I could have seen that these cops were potentially lying, so I apologize. But I'll let Kaz ream me out when he gets in. Um, Akash. I was wrong, too. I thought something happened. Kaz I mean, was like, I think so t- yeah. Kaz was like, nah, nothing happened. I was like, you wild, something happened. Yeah, it's well, weird that the, the two non-blacks really <laughs> felt that, that that nothing happened. I thought something. I didn't know if he punched him, but I was like, something fucking happened. The right. guy's charging at him like a goddamn rhinoceros. Right. Turns out, he's right. just angry that a black guy's getting on the court. You'd think he'd be used to that. <laughs> You'd think if there's one thing that he would be accustomed to, a security guard at a basketball game. Can we acknowledge how that's maybe the worst job? Oh, absolutely. Right? I, I went to like, look into doing that and and then I realized the entire time you have to be facing away from the game yes. and I'm like fuck that but wait for it not only do you have to be facing away from the game you're on the floor yeah right so you hear it behind you you right, hear the like dribble and squeak you hear <laughs> you hear the sneakers you, you hear the swish everybody goes nuts right sometimes you get hit with a ball you have no clue everybody's just laughing at you because <laughs> your head's turned back it's like you are so close but can't do anything yeah, you know that's rough. It is. It is very rough. Yeah, it is wildly rough. And they have to be stoic. They can't show emotion. You can't. Like it's that. like yeah. being like a pedophile teacher. It's like they're right there. <laughs> they come into you. You know what I mean? They're brought to your class. Yeah. They're te- they They call you by your last name. Oh, You're an authority violating dress code, dude. Oh, so you met like a teacher who also is a pedophile. Is a pedophile. So you met a person who teaches people how to become pedophile. <laughs> 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 son, son, I don't know what sort of Groupon classes you've been getting, <laughs> but that is a wild <laughs> profession, bro. A pedophile teacher? Yo, how you a bad pedophile? Like, <laughs> or how you a good one? Well, I guess. <laughs> right. Some documentaries out there. No, for real, man. Sandusky, the GOAT. <laughs> Sandusky the goat, son. My son, man, he would have a statue out front of that school, bro. Facts, he would bro. have the Joe Pa statue. <laughs> he really would, because think about Instead it. Instead like, of a hand like this, it'd be like this. It'd be underneath. <laughs> so think about it, like for Sandusky specifically, right? It's like he was probably looking at all those teachers at the school, like, oh, the pedophile teachers at school, like, oh, you think that you're smart because you get the kids coming to you, right? <laughs> but he's like, they don't even come to your shower. Like he picked the best. <laughs> He picked the best job to be a pedophile because the kids got to wash. How many how many jobs are there like that? Right? Think that guy is a fucking pedophile genius. Swim coach. Swim coach a good one. Yo. Swim coach a good one. That is true. They got to you got to shower after the pool. 
That's right? That's fucking right. Oh and you see God. him the whole time and just trunks. You just getting worked up. Yo. <laughs> you the one getting lathered up out there. Yo. All those strokes. It's called a stroke. <laughs> right? The breast stroke. The back butterfly stroke. back oh. stroke. Mm, back stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying before? That's too much. Bro, what a wild, what a wild thing to choose, right? We gotta vet these teachers. Why is there no vetting for teachers? I don't know, son. Is That's there a why background Trump swallowing swimming so fast? He's trying to get away from his pedophile ass coach. <laughs> get me out of here. Yo, maybe that's how you make them good at swimming. <laughs> you swim behind them. Dude, that's the only like fucking, way. Like a gay Jaws. Dude, that's the... <laughs> it's just Jaws. Donna. Donna. That's what he was listening to in that headphones. The fucking Jaws oh, theme song. Dude, that is how you motivate them. <sighs> yeah, dog. That's how you get gold. Do you think that's how they do it in some countries? Do you think they use those type of harsh treatments? I mean, I you know, listen, North Korea got a swim team, I'm sure, right? Yeah, but are they? They're not good. They're not using every technique, <laughs> right? Like Who's they're doing not. That? That's like Rocky Four type shit. What do you mean, like, like Rocky Four? What's his name? Drago getting juiced up, right? Any means necessary, but not any. No, Russia. I bet they do that shit. But I do think, even though. <laughs> Like, what? I don't think. Like, maybe America's the only... So far, as far as I'm concerned, America's the only country where they molest the athletes. <laughs> right? Like that, the gymnastics team. Oh, right. I don't know. And, and we... Yo, I'm not saying it's right, fam. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying, so, so far, we the only ones, right? And check the motherfucking check goals. Medal counts. Son, check the medal yeah. counts. This China country. be getting the goals, though. China gets the gold. We get, like, the lead in the medal you count overall. They listen out there in China. <laughs> Son, you don't think they molested out there in China. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. First of all, how old a Chinese person really is, bro? That's what, how they cheat. I think that's 40 year old China's out there. How old is a Chinese? Son, have y'all seen that, that China developed the most uh, sophisticated facial recognition software they in the world? They had to. They had no choice. They had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> they had to they pick, up. pick up every detail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see your freckle. <laughs> one freckle above cheek. <laughs> That's the easiest Apple Son. Face ID ever. They're like, just make one Chinese person to cover Bro, all a billion of them. Think about how easy it is to like find the different people in New York, <sighs> right? Yeah. So much diversity, so easy to point out an Edin or an Akash or an yeah. Andrew. Yeah. But when literally two billion people are sharing like seven names, Bruh. the same haircut, Bruh. the same uh, uh, gi. <laughs> Whoa, <what? laughs> That's right. I was wondering where you were going. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. Good. I was well done. I yeah. know you pull yeah, it off, good. right? Same bandana that you ties stuck the, the landing like Sandusky, huh? I stuck the landing like Sandusky. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even him that raped. That was Nadler. Who? <laughs> Nadler. That's the Michigan oh, guy. Sandusky didn't rape. No, no, he did. But like he, that's football. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I forgot the there was gi- a gym rape. The gym rape is. I forgot is, there was a gym yeah. raper. My bad. Time. Just check the medal counts. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All I'm trying to say is wow. that Jamaican yeah, running team got one hell of a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. Cause them motherfuckers be running. <laughs> Yo, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt got a reason. He got something to get away from. You know what it is? Oh, the dicks are bigger. Oh, so the punishment God. is worse. Do you know what I mean? I could take a little Sandusky. I can't take no Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> you yo, come on, Akash. You don't think you can run a quick 40? Son. If Donovan is behind you? Bruh. I might be into it. Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> you want your cheeks thunderclapped? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Akash, I, I, you should have... Uh, you should have. Been. I don't actually know if you didn't go. Did you go to Cluster? Not Cluster Fest. Uh, Skank Fest this this weekend. No, by I chance. didn't. It was wild. Unbelievable. You went. I went. 
Sunday night. I got there the last day. Okay. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, the Legion of Skanks, amazing podcast. Uh, great, great, great comics. Big J Ogerson, uh, Dave Smith, Louis J Gomez, Louis J Gomez, and a dude named Ralph run the Gas Digital Network. They have amazing podcasts on that network. Legion of Skanks being one of them. Louis has several podcasts as well. Um, and Louis and Christine Evans and uh, Rebecca Trent all organized this festival called Skank Fest. And right. I'm telling you, it was fucking... W- next year, we need to put all of our efforts behind it to support this. Really? It is everything that we support in comedy. It is no industry whatsoever. It's all comics, supported by comics, for comics. It is CBGBs. It is punk rock. You know, it is hip-hop in the fucking Bronx before it blew right. up. I mean, it is the most raw and organic form of stand-up. Um, it's like Burning Man for comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, a little different in, in regards right. to, like, you know, the type of party it is, but, like, it's truly, is truly, like, for us, by us. If yeah. there's a FUBU of comedy, right. this is what it is. And um, they treat the comics great. There's a there was this thing that they closed the show with the goddamn comedy jam run by yeah, jo- Josh yeah. Adam Myers. Right. And it's basically live karaoke. Yeah. And you say and comics do like a couple jokes and then they sing the song. And fucking Bill Burr played drums. That's crazy. This is That's the so go. Crazy. Yeah. Shows up to this festival in Brooklyn. Right. Does not have to do this. Right. He's in the middle of filming a movie. Right now, did not know that. That's dope. Though. He's in New York filming Pete Davidson's movie. Oh, okay, sure. right. Okay, and he fucking comes to this thing. They're not paying him or anything like that, just to support comedy. Yeah, and fucking plays the drums for a few songs while they karaoke. Surprise guest Louis C.K. Get the fuck out, dude! I'm telling you, it's like we need to like Louis got to come out butt naked to these things. <laughs> 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 while we're talking about butt naked, Ari Shafir. Yeah, this was hilarious. So. Roy Wood Jr. is going up to do his uh, one of the song. funniest comics working love, right now. Love Roy so Wood. funny, love, and he's going to be on Inside, Inside Jokes, Jokes this tomorrow. week yeah. with Akash, uh, myself, and Verzi. But um, so Roy Wood goes up now. Roy Wood is hosting a show, a show on Comedy Central called "This is uh, This is Not Happening." It's not happening. That great was story originally Ari's show. show. It was originally Ari's show. So Roy gets up there. And Roy's like, Ari, come on up here to like show there's no beef. And right. like, I think Roy was really diplomatic about it. He like asked Ari's blessing to do it. He said he wouldn't do it unless Ari said it was yeah. cool, et cetera. And uh, so Ari gets called back on stage and Ari walks by me and I see him start kind of pulling down his pants. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? By the time he's on stage, he is butt ass naked. <laughs> Okay, walks up and just hugs Roy. Roy does not know what the fuck is happening. We're from Alabama. Roy is black, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. And Skankfest is, it's super white. Yeah. Right? It's super white. We're going to gentrify that shit next year. And right. I mean that. And, and I'm telling you, our crowd is going to love that and they're going to love it. It's going to be fucking amazing. I can't wait. But, um, Dude, Roy hid in a corner while he sings the rest of his song while <laughs> Ari just bouncing around on stage with his fucking big ass dick <laughs> flopping all over the place. Dude, it was unreal being at this thing. Um, and I want to get Lewis on today, but he couldn't do it. But what I'm saying is next year we got to get behind this and For we sure. got to push this. It's For like sure. New York has a thing. Yeah, you know, like finally, we, we we've been missing a thing. Yeah, you've been calling for it. We, I've been calling for it, and and it, they've had it. They fucking built it, and we got to prop it up. We got to push right. it as much as we possibly Let's can. Let's do it. Was I, this the first year they did? No, it? No, they've done it a few years, and it just keeps building every single uh, year. They have unbelievable fans, like devout fans, like us. I mean that. Yeah. And when they, when they start to like cross pollinate and find each other, you they're wild too. They're with the flagrancy. These yeah. motherfuckers are wild. So yeah. when they all realize that they're down with the same stand up. It's going to be another podcast. It's going to be special. Uh, it's going to be special. Another podcast, and the dude Stavros helped me when I was setting up the Patreon. Come Town is another podcast, and right. I think their fans will be super down for so the flagrant shit. That's what we need to do, man. It was it, I was out in L.A. because I did Rogan again, and Rogan was talking about that, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, how the fuck are we not talk about that? We can talk about it." But Yo, biggest he, podcast crossover in history. We'll talk about shit, that in a bit, I guess. Yeah, that shit was wild, but he uh, he was saying a good thing. It was like the beautiful thing about this. The beautiful thing about podcasting is it's not as antagonistic as other m- other forms. So, like, radio was always about the war. Howard Stern was at war with whoever was okay. the morning show in right, the market. Right. Or even, you know, Breakfast Club and Hot 97, right? Okay. It was always this war mentality. But podcast seems to be this friendship mentality. 
And I even feel bad because I think we got into it with, you know, Budden's thing and that was, you know, stupid. And But in reality, all of us should be trying to prop each other up. All of us should be helping each other. That's interesting. Because you see what the guys in LA have done and they've built out 15 fucking podcasts and all these podcasts are doing big numbers. Everybody's touring. It's like yeah. there's a lot of food out there for right, all of us. Right. You know, and if we have more of a feast mentality than a famine mentality. You know who did that is Rogan. Rogan set that up. And like if it's just Mark Marin out there doing WTF, I don't think it's as like not no disrespect to him, but Joe's about that life. Joe's Pumps about up. like giving Andrew told me first of all, it's so dope that you did Rogan and we forgot to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> that tells you the kind of shit you're doing right now, and that's amazing. But uh, you mentioned Joe will just like tip wherever he goes, like yeah, I generously. Wanna, I want okay. to put his business out there, but he's generous. You don't want that. Put it that way. He's if he, if you, you Joe know. just does nice shit for people and doesn't expect anything. That's the vibe I 100%. get from Joe. He is living, and that's a rare thing. But he's the podcast guy. He's yes. the guy. So when he sets that precedent yeah. and he gives and yeah. he puts careers on, like like Ari owes a lot to Joe. Oh, so yeah. many comics owe a lot to Joe. So he set that precedent. So now it's like, well, we just we just follow the leader, really. A hundred percent. And they, they see the formula. And once you see it works, it happens. And it's like, uh, we got a responsibility. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. we got a responsibility to help out and push people and go for it. And then once you set that standard, it's so easy. It's like, once someone helps you, you just want to help. Yeah. But when you feel like no one's helping you, you're like, fuck everybody. When I get to, that's what, uh, apparently 2 chains don't really care to help nobody. And he don't give a fuck about being friendly to anybody. Because he's like, I got kicked around for decades. And nobody wanted to fuck with me. So fuck everybody. Exactly. And that and that's a bad attitude because eventually you might need a little help, and you might yeah, need a feature to get you back. It's built off of I got kicked around, right? But so when if Two Chains got helped early on as he should have or felt he should have or whatever, right. then he's like, yeah, I'll help everybody. Boom, I exactly. got help. So we need to have that. I look forward to helping comics the way you help me. It's like it's just when you get that help, you're like, fuck, I got to pay this forward. I can't just not. Right. What kind of piece of shit would that be if I put get on and I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so that's what we're gonna do, and that's what we're gonna have, and and I think that's what we have been been doing. But we just need a we just need a push on crossovers. It, bro. I'm telling crossovers. you, man, it is it's very it was very cool to see. Also, there's no giant corporations competing against each other to stop us, right? Like Hot 97 and Breakfast Club can't really cross over. Their bosses are gonna be like, nah, right, nah, yeah. Even though that we do numbers, nah. With us, we can just cross over. If you, if Button ever likes us. We could cross over. You know what right. I mean? It's not a thing. Right. It's fun to take shots, but if they liked us, you know what I mean? We could. <laughs> For real. I mean, it is. I'm telling you, there is a. It's just, it's just good. It was good to see. It was refreshing to see. And sometimes you need to see it. What do they say? Sometimes you need to believe things to see it. Sometimes you need to see to believe it. Okay. Right. I got you. Yeah. They both function, right? Right, like, right? right. Like you need to believe in. Like all these like old Mexican chicks that like believe in God so much they see the Virgin Mary in their fucking oatmeal. Right. Right. You need yeah. to believe in God to see in the oatmeal. Right. Yeah. But sometimes you need to see some shit to actually believe it. Like yeah. when you see motherfuckers sharing the wealth and it's working, you're like, all right, boom, we're see, on this. Yeah. When you see Joe doing it. Yeah. Hey, let's do it. Now nah, he's he's living, bro. He's I was talking about this on Andrew Santino's podcast, another really good comic out there who's got a good podcast called Whiskey Ginger, and and we we're talking about like there's the people, and sometimes maybe I'm hard on on billionaires for this, but like, there's like living and surviving, right? And <clears throat> we're kind of geniuses, comics, right? Because we're surviving still, right? But we've kind of cracked the code because we've found a way to survive doing, yeah, what we love, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So most people have to survive doing something they don't really like, but they need to survive, right? Right, and then we. We're like, all right, fuck it. If I'm going to have to survive, we might as well Let's talk shit on podcasts. We might as well do stand-up through the whole thing. Yeah. Right? So, but at the end of the day, we're still surviving. Right. We, we can't stop working. We still got to work to pay, right? Then you get to the point where you're like financially free. Mm -hmm. You have so much money, you can't spend it in your lifetime. You have the opportunity at that point in time to do whatever you want and start living. Not surviving anymore. Right. You've cured survival. Right. So now you have the ability to live. Everything you do every day, you could do because you want to do right. it. Right, right. That's living. Fuck you money. Fuck you money. So now you can live. Yeah. But most people don't understand that, so they keep on creating new goals <clears throat> to kick in the survival sensation, right? The survival motivation. Like, when people go, I want to be a billionaire. Yeah. It's like, you idiot. You're good. You want to be a billionaire? 
take your money, transfer it to Tide Bot. bot. <laughs> You're a billionaire, right? Like, <laughs> what is a billionaire? Like, a billionaire isn't anything. Yeah, it's a it's, made up thing. Take your billion dollars, transfer it into English pounds. You're yeah. not a billionaire. Yeah, well, that's a good point. You're, it's completely arbitrary this amount. But what you what what they miss is what they miss is this 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 just living. They go in order for me to operate, I need a motivation. Right. I can't just live. I need a bad guy. I need a goal. I need a dragon to slay. Right. They can't just go. I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I love every single day. Yeah. And it's kind of sad, man, because like, how few people even get the opportunity to live? Like Rogan's fucking living. Yeah. That's what I admire most. I think. You know what else I've thought about? Because I got friends who are, you know, business dudes doing great, like making tons of money. Yeah. But you are always surrounded by richer people, and so you don't understand that you're living. You feel like, I this guy got it. There's always that's the scariest thing about New York to me. Yes. Fuck the homeless people on the subway. Yes. It's when you're successful. There's always someone more. You are never successful enough. Yeah. No house I have is nice enough. It can yeah. it can like it can eat you alive. Weirdly, that sounds. Maybe it's not the scariest thing, but like it's terrifying that you right. never feel adequate here if you are in different circles. Yes, because there's always somebody with a nicer car, always someone with a nicer, nicer house, nicer you apartment. You can literally spend infinite money here. It's, I don't see there's a cap. You could live in the Nordstrom Towers for a yeah. million dollars a square foot or whatever yeah. it is. And you do compare yourself to the company you keep. Exactly. Yeah, so that is important. And maybe that's Rogan's values. Like he's hanging around all these comics that are poor. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Maybe that's his genius. Hang, yeah. out, hang out with poor people. But then again... He'll hang out with Elon Musk. Yeah. So it's like, I'm sure he has this balance. He just seems incredibly comfortable in who he is. Like, he just seems... Yes. That's the vibe I get from him is he just knows him better than most people I'm know themselves. You, he's the truth, bro. Yeah. I mean that shit. Yeah. The motherfucking truth. And going out there and having him and, like, Charlemagne meet, it was like it was like having Professor X and Xavier meet, man. It it's felt like... the same person? The same person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the other guy with the medal? Oh, yeah, Magneto. <laughs> Professor X and, and Magneto. Son, can we talk about Professor X? What's up? Why, and I'm sure a comic has done this. But yeah, this why, is, why this can he good. move everything but good. his legs? This is good. This is good. Right? <laughs> like, my <laughs> man can move everything <laughs> with his head but his <laughs> own fucking feet, bro. Like, he can he can lift his, his yes. wheelchair up. It hit me as soon as he said, can we talk about I Professor know. X? I was like, this oh, is, fuck, that's I'm good. I'm not onto something. That's yeah, a good point. Are. They explain what happens because he used to walk and then something happened on a retreat. No, nah, he, he, got, got he, got, he got shot. Um, oh, was shot? No, somebody shot. What happened in one of the X-Men? I think Magneto. Yeah. <clears throat> Magneto shot some girl who got or something, shot or something like that and it, and it bounced and it hit him in the back or whatever. Uh, but my point is... If you can move the wheelchair you with your brain. You could have moved the bullet. Well, I think he did. I think that was the issue. I think he moved the bullet and then and then it happened. Who we got there? What's up, Kaz? Kaz! Say hi to my cousin. My cousin's here, everybody. That's Amit. Um, give it away. <laughs> Kaz, push the door already all the way closed. Why is it that Professor X can move everything but his feet? <laughs> what is the logic there? You're a comic book nerd, right? Wait, can he move everything, though? He moves the, 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 he doesn't have wheels. The shit floats. Yeah, it floats. Like, That's his brain his, doing that? Like That's when his when mind. He, when he's in his mind, when he's in other people's minds, like, he walks. Like, he can do stuff, yeah. like, in people's mind, but, like, physically, he can't walk for some fucking reason. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's a glitch in the <laughs> Matrix. Kaz, I mean, by the way, we waited for you to get here so you can tell me how wrong I was about the, the oh, Messiah. Yeah, we let's, waited let's, for we'll, you, but we'll get there we'll get in a there. second. I know we will. We, we, we also shit on SNY, but whatever. Oh, yeah, we shit all over SNY. They ain't paying me. Yeah, 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 They're yeah, paying yeah. me, though, but fuck <laughs> me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's all good. This, you is, are here. this, is, this is good. There's also a bug in here. This is going to be our Breaking Bad episode where we go drive <laughs> crazy from the fly. You did? I killed the other one. Oh, fuck it. Right. I wasn't in another... Anyway, I, so... Just have to be another fly just son, waiting I killed the, the first door. one. I'm taking credit son, for that. Ah. Professor <laughs> X. <laughs> Professor X. Uh-huh. Professor X. Charles Xavier. Has nobody addressed this whatsoever? I don't... Here we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. Bro, it's oh, over. Oh, let that right. let that little man live. Ah, oh, fuck oh, him. Don't make him live. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Both of y'all are just up. Just look. Oh, no, it's here. It's here. I got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, got him. No, you didn't get him. He's still oh, no. fine. <laughs> y'all are going to kill Are we for real doing this? <laughs> yes. Are we for real doing this? <laughs> Can you can you keep uh, keep the all right, yeah so uh, Professor X <laughs> no, no, no 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 I want you to call the call oh he's gonna do the play by play oh okay 
And the fly is floating around the room completely untouched. You see it? Andrew and Alex and Kaz have an uphill battle against him. Long off against them, folks. No, he did not fall. Kaz is insisting he got him. (laughs) Okay. I think I got him, yo. He didn't get him. I saw him fly away. But it doesn't matter. He's he's deceived us. Okay. He's he's in hiding. Back to what we're saying. Jesus. (laughs) Okay. So, um, we don't know why. We don't know why that works. But the point was, what was it a metaphor? Professor X can can move. Oh, it was Charlemagne. Seeing Charlemagne and Rogan come together, (laughs) having that episode, and like it was these two parts of the internet that I knew would enjoy each other, right? Mm -hmm. If they had the opportunity to connect, right? But they didn't know each other just yet. Like so many people, when I went on Rogan, that was the first time they've ever heard of of me, right? Right. And so many people, it's so funny to get tweets that say this. Rogan introduced me to Andrew Schultz, who introduced me to Charlemagne. The idea that I could introduce anybody, anybody to Charlemagne. Charlemagne. <laughs> like, yeah. To me, Charlemagne, it, they're, they're it's wildly t- famous. Pinnacles yeah, yeah, yeah. of the internet, right? Uh-huh. It, it's Rogan and Charla. Yeah. Right. And like having that conversation, the three of us, and it was just fucking effortless three hours. I'm not trying to brag about it. I'm just trying to say, like, no. it was a good listen. No. I, I listened on the, on the way. It was to so LA. easy. It was tight. It was just it was easy. Tight. And they, they fucking get along. It was dope. And it was like, that's what podcasting can do. We don't need these stupid fucking beefs. And again, I'm 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 guilty of it as well. Yeah. But we thought we needed the beefs because we came from the radio world. Podcasting isn't that. Podcasting it's is the, the fucking Avengers. Community. It's the community. Yeah, you know yeah. what's interesting is that's e- it. I don't want to say echo chambers because I don't mean it politically. But you're just kind of in a silo yes. in the internet. Yes. These are the people that I know and like, and that's all I need. I'm happy yes. in the silo. So you would think you're good, but there's. A ton of other shit and a bunch of other silos that would be great. Rogan got this massive silo. Massive. Mm-hmm. Him, yeah. Dalia, whoever else. All funny. Right. You're good. But there's also Charlemagne, Andrew, whoever in this silo. Yeah, but and Rogan's almost different, though, because like it's uh, for Deli and those guys, it's more comedy-based. But Rogan's just like, he's like the general podcast. Like, as soon as you yeah. go on the Apple, Spotify, whatever, like, him he's, and like Joe Budden. New York, like, he's New York Times. Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. genius of stand-ups. Is only a stand-up can do that, I think. That, 100%. I mean, we're talking about I didn't even, like the the reach is insane. I mean, it's essentially what the Tonight I didn't Show realize was. what the reach was. It's essentially the what reach Tonight was, Show was sixteen million people an episode. God damn, that's so crazy. <laughs> that's, he goes, he texts me, he goes, uh, that's he goes, friends numbers, son. <laughs> it's friends numbers. That's friends that's numbers. Network TV when your show is killing it yeah. numbers. So think about that, right? And he was like, oh, but he's like, you're on a list. I go, what do you mean? I'm like, oh, you're definitely anybody I text is on a list. I go, what do you mean a list? He goes. Like, you know, CIA and shit. Like, <laughs> what? Wait, 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 he, goes, what? he goes, you can't have 16 million people listen to your thing and then people want to make sure the information that's going out there is okay. You're not allowed to have that much influence within a country and in the world gotcha. without the government going, oh, we're just going to observe. <laughs> make wow. sure. <laughs> Dude, that shit made me anxious listening to it. Oh, son, my phone, ever since I came back and we met with the uh, with the UFO guy. UFO guy. All right, so the episode after me, <laughs> son, this week has been so crazy. This week has been I, I so imagine. fucking crazy. I can imagine. So after Rogan, right, the next day he has a guy named Bob Lazar on. Who, Sounds familiar. Yes, he yeah, is yeah, yeah. the he's the guy who started basically the Area 51 conspiracy theories. He is a scientist who claims to have worked at Area 51 and worked on alien aircraft. And his job was to, uh, what's it called, reverse engineer it. So essentially figure out how it works. And he was brought there. And um, he left. They fired him. And he whistle blew. And in 89, it was you know this crazy story about UFOs. And from then on, Area 51 has become part of this pop culture. Okay. He came to do the episode the next day. So we went out to dinner with him the night before. Wow. And I swear to God... My phone battery is 50% less than it has been. (laughs) I swear. Now, I don't know if that's my phone trash or if I'm being tracked. I don't know what it is. But I promise you my phone battery does not work no more. You're for sure being tracked. Yeah! (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to not believe Kaz anymore. I'm going to just believe Kaz when he says some shit. (laughs) Thank you. That's all I wanted, bro. (laughs) That's all I wanted. Hey, man, you earned it. Fuck. (laughs) It took a while, but goddamn. I'm going to let you read me out. I was wrong. (sighs) But it is a, it was a crazy fucking thing. What is your guys' theory on UFOs? Oh, I've always believed there's aliens. I believe there's aliens, yeah. It would be ignorant to believe we're the only living 
species on this one planet. Hundred percent. As big as this shit is, like right. yeah, it's, it's, it's New York Times is reporting that there has been like suspicious activity that people swear is aliens. Like, yep. Oh, I, I feel like there's aliens like among us. Okay. Like they're here. It's just that they're just like fucking harmless and don't want to. You know, Eden is an alien. <laughs> he's a sort of alien. Yeah. He's, he's. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I believe they. I believe they're among us. I think they're just like chilling, peaceful people. Like they right. probably saw movies and like, oh shit, I don't want that to happen. Right. <laughs> just like, then they just play their position. I don't. I haven't thought through enough to say what are they like. What somebody on the ticket always talks about, it and he goes, why do we assume they're life size? Why do we? Why can't they be they so be small we can never see them? They're microscopic, floating around right now, gathering whatever information. Yeah. The like bug they don't in this have room. to be. That bug is a fucking CIA that's, bug. That's why he's not percent guaranteed. Why he's not dying? That's a drone. Yep. Wow. That's why okay. she's circling Kaz the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, who's the new guy? <laughs> oh, I thought he was like African. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Kaz checks all the boxes. Okay. Like, I'm not that African, all right? So. Like, I'll just fly, just run around me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it like that. That's, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I said it before somebody in the comments said it to you. Uh, I just got word. Oh. You think he's an African and he's got flies around him all the time? So, so here's my thing with this guy who's claiming to have worked on the uh, on the UFOs, mm. it's a tricky because he breaks the whole thing down and it's very believable in the way he's breaking it down, right? But there's part of me that's like, I, I this is the thing that's hardest for me to believe, right? If you're the United States government and you uh, come upon UFOs, right, and they're alleging or he's alleging that these UFOs have been here for thousands of years, they're just like dug them up, mm. essentially. Right. Oh, like like their bodies, like their uh, not the aliens, but the actual craft, spacecraft. Oh, right. Shit. So, which is more believable for me that you know they came thousands of years ago, checked some shit out, you know, maybe left it there, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Here's my thing: you get this, you get this UFO. You need to reverse engineer it to see if we can work it out, right? You have access to all the most famous scientists in the world, and you're going to hire a guy named Bob from the past. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't you hire a guy named Bob? It's a perfectly inconspicuous name. Know how many Bobs there are? No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is he's not an elite MIT scientist. Do you know what I'm saying? You uh, go, you get the best of the, like, um, you know America's, you know NASA, the, the program NASA is started by a bunch of Nazis, right? Yeah. We literally stole, we beat Germany in World War II, all their scientists we took and they started NASA. And That's the ones we up. didn't get, Russia used to start their space program because mm. the Germans were like way ahead of us in terms of like not only hating Jews, but also <laughs> oh but also science, right? They were like way yeah, ahead of us, boy. right? So the hatred took them very far. Yeah. It's, fun. it's that, a motivator. Yeah, I was about to say, like, hate is the biggest motivator in the they, world. They didn't have podcasts. The most if they, only, <laughs> they only had podcasts they could come together with, right? <laughs> But so my point is, if you're willing to go anywhere you want to get scientists, I don't think you go with that guy. So maybe what they're doing is like setting him up on purpose. You're discriminating against guys named Bob. No, he's discriminating <laughs> against people who don't hate Jews. Come on, uh, obviously. I don't. I don't, I, don't, I don't think either. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean right, like right. you're gonna get a guy from the fucking greatest school and the best yeah. whatever, not just some run of the mill scientist. He wasn't the most elite scientist, gotcha. is what I'm trying to say. So get an he's Nazi. like the George Hill of scientists. You're gonna get an aunt. You're gonna <laughs> get, get a Nazi. somebody. You know what I mean? So okay. look. Point He's like is, the Matthew Stafford of scientists. Like, not, <laughs> not elite, but you're like, yeah, you're pretty good. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe lower. He's got a good bifocal. Okay. You know? <laughs> All right. Wait, but so, did he say he was the only one working on it? So they work in pairs. All right. So, uh, and everything is, is, is cut up, so you only know what you know, right? And this is how they control information. What I'm trying uh, to say is, if I'm the government and I want to get fake information out there, right, what I would do... Yeah, is get a run of the mill yeah. scientist who is so willing to believe anything like a spaceship or like a UFO could exist. Mm -hmm. And I would present him <clears throat> with these things, right? And I would say, hey, can you reverse engineer it? Full well knowing that this guy is going to eventually tell some it's people and it's going to leak. And now you have information leaking during the fucking Cold War. And now Russia is hearing from news stories that America has UFO. Interesting. Like, oh, and I'm Russia. I'm like, okay, Rocky won. You know what I mean? Right. I, I don't like, need that. I like that theory. What I if he's like? He could be like the Aaron Paul of the scientists, though. If they work in it? pairs, <laughs> like yeah. he's like the fucking, he's like the the, the meth head who's kind of like, yeah. oh, bro, there's aliens, and like the real fucking mastermind, like the real like Brian Cranston motherfucker is like still there. Really killing shit. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's, that's what I'm saying. Possible. He could be the fuck up. What were we saying? <laughs> I was saying uh, he's still alive. That's a little weird. 
So that's the other thought I had. I, I don't thought, believe this, uh, what's the word, precludes aliens from existing. No, no, aliens can right exist. Word? Aliens but, can exist, for sure. But I do think there is something like, wouldn't he be dead if he's really out here blowing whistles on aliens? So here's the thing. Here's the thing about, here's the thing about blowing whistles, right? That's why I don't think it's about aliens. I think he was doing something else. And I think he used aliens to protect himself. Like, I think he was working on some wild shit for the government, mm-hmm. right? And he was like, I'm out. I don't want to deal with this no more. Mm-hmm. And then he comes and says, hey, I was working on an alien spacecraft. And now the government goes, this Oof. motherfucker. Okay. If we kill him, everybody believes aliens are real. <laughs> if we don't kill him, at least he's not saying the real shit he was working on. So we'll keep him alive. Mm. And it keeps the secret that he knows and that we know. Don't they still die, though? I think they only die when you're going to fuck the bread up. And it, and that alien lie doesn't fuck the bread up. And to be fair, if you if you're, what you're saying is true, they're looking at like this is like the vintage alien shit. Like it's like the throwback shit. Like right. it's not like the it's holy the TBT shit. aliens. Yeah, it's like the TBT aliens. Like you don't need the old shit. Like they've probably been got like probably the the, the real. That's how real, we got the iPhone. New so alien you, shit. You, that's what we have right from now. the aliens is those shirts they give the African kids when you lose in the finals. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So we, we got, got the bootleg the, merch. We got, we got the bootleg yeah, merch. We got all them Buffalo we the, Bills. We got the Atlanta Falcons. We got the Atlanta Falcons, <laughs> the Buffalo Bills, UFOs and shit. Oh, like, yeah. if we pull up on aliens with that shit, they'll be like, what? Well, you got the 300. That's a saucer? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all thought I had saucers? For real? Like, <laughs> like, you said it's like a 300. It's like Chrysler 300. <laughs> we got the Chrysler 300, like a Rolls son. Royce until you pull real up the Rolls Royce. Real talk. There are the Maybach UFOs up there. There are Rolls Royce UFOs out there. We pulling up with a big grill thinking we got something. Like, yo. We got. We discovered not. Nah, they looking at you like, yo, you got the motherfucking the Super Nintendo. That's ten thousand light bro. years old. <laughs> what are you talking about? That shit is lost. You kidding me? <laughs> that's, and it's probably not even like an old alien. So it's probably like a teenager yeah. alien making fun of them. Like you got the wax shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's those New Balance alien <laughs> shit. You got, yo. And they're looking at us like like we don't realize how stupid it is, <laughs> right? They're just like, hold up, you would fly something. That isn't even aerodynamic, like, like the whole. You know how they fly the alien spaceships? You think it goes up and then flies flat, right? Right. Mm. No, it goes up and then folds forward. Oh shit! So imagine a plate folding ninety degrees, Yo. and it's pushed back. Now that is the least aerodynamic thing in the entire world. Mm. You're just flying forward as a sail. It looks wild, though. It looks wild. It does look this wild. Entire, this entire combo is making me uncomfortable. Imagine me, my phone dead. <laughs> I'm about to say, I don't know. I feel like we look should... at my phone dead. It's be a great time to switch subjects, especially after Rogan. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? No, I'm just nervous. Oh, you think they're gonna get on? Oh you? yeah, they will. For, for what? I he mean, black. Yeah. <laughs> like, God damn, I'm, man. I'm Let me tell you something. I'm naturally paranoid, bro. <laughs> no black man will ever die because of UFO conspiracy. <laughs> why I promise that? you, because they're not caring about that. Exactly. They know that y'all That's not the crazy. That's the reason why they would kill They me. know that y'all not crazy like, Yo, enough. He was talking about aliens and shit. Black people not crazy enough. Only white people crazy enough to go that far with it. <laughs> Black people already don't trust the government. Yeah. White people really believe that like they could like say some shit to change the world. You know what I mean? Like white people really out here like I'm gonna spread this information. Mm. Black people like we see some shit. We're like security guards will kill you. I, the the first, government definitely gonna do the it. The first thing we say is I ain't seen nothing. The first yeah. thing any black man says when they see some, see a crime they wasn't supposed to see is I ain't, I ain't see, see yeah. shit. <laughs> An alien <laughs> ship no. could drop in the middle of Compton and you see all the black dudes look and then just see walk their way away from that alien. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. I don't know what y'all talking. Oh, alien who? Man. Alien who? R.I.P. Nipsey. That's all I know. <laughs> Real talk. I ain't got no beef with them aliens out there, B. <laughs> anyway, all right. Now you can read me out. Woo! All yeah. Right. Don't it feel good to be right? Let's talk about sports. Nah, this is sports, ain't I it? know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Hit it, Cass. Go, go, go. Hit it, Cass. Well, um, you want to load it up? Do you want to so, load it up? So, uh, apparently, <clears throat> as has been said on this podcast by one of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, can, you can guess which one. Yes, yeah, I, I think you can all guess which one. Uh, the police officer did not get punched or shoved by a massage. You don't say! What, uh, that, what else happened? Uh, he said that Masai did have a credential. Yeah, I, I could have sworn we had the video of the credential. The only people I believe less out. than cops is Nigerians, so I don't know <laughs> if I trust you or Masai about any of this shit. I mean, it's like... <laughs> It's almost like police will just lie about some shit when they are over aggressive and need a need to cover it up. Maybe. Maybe. 
see. Maybe. It seems like that's a little bit more believable than 50,000 people at the NBA Finals not recording somebody getting punched in the face. Takes a liar to know a liar. I bet. <laughs> I bet. Takes a liar to know a liar. Well, in this case. Mm-hmm. 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 Masai Sorry probably asked that like... fucking uh, cop for his email. My thing is. <laughs> the, the... <laughs> trying to try to sell him a pool table. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. If, if, he was not, a if prince, you've never yeah. dealt with lying ass cops before. Right. This is the life. It's a lot like dealing with lying ass Nigerians. Yo, it is. Only you lose way less money. No, it's actually not. Potentially your life. (laughs) You you, you actually walk away. We may take, like, you know. We may sell you some fake shit, but like, thousand dollars, you don't die. Yeah, that's true. You're (laughs) right. That's another thing, but. You're right. God damn, man. Now, like if, so you, you, if you're gonna blatantly lie about that shit in the, in the fucking it's the NBA finals it's right. in Oakland it's a, it's the last game in the Oracle Arena yeah. everybody in the world has photo photos and videos so why didn't they come shit. out what do you mean why they come out because there was no there was no shove there was no push they said so it so why wasn't there video of the no push why would there have to be we're not gonna do the thing that you do when you try to like talk and sit and backwards can you play that can you play that uh that uh, X Files music. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. We're Son, not doing that. There's this to push say. There was is the never, UFO of the said, NBA. First Real off, talk. the cop was talking about he's he he caught a uh, he had a jaw injury and he could have returned to work. He can't because of he's the suffering. aggression that he showed his credential with. Even though at, at originally they said he didn't have a credential yeah, or yeah. He didn't present the right one or whatever. He didn't. <laughs> I just want to see how far you're going to go to, the to, earth is flat. to, to <laughs> believe the police. Bro. The earth is flat. This makes me very uncomfortable around you guys. How much you trust police? Yo, we be trusting them, bro. I don't. <laughs> nah, they I work don't. out. They work out for they me. They don't, bro. <laughs> the only cops I trust are the ones that like shoot hoops in bad neighborhoods. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only ones I'm like, ah, that guy's all right. <laughs> Yo, what if those cops are actually the worst? Like, you know how when the dudes... They gotta are, be the worst! You know how when the dude's a feminist, like, he's really out here raping chicks, yeah, but yeah, he's yeah, using sure. that as a smoke for screen? Sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what if those cops are, like, hooping in the hood? They're like, haha, they're not gonna know that I'm shooting these kids later. <laughs> you know, like, what if that shit is a complete lie? That's probably lie? part of, like, the contingency plan. Like, a be, black like, kid breaks his ankles in on the ground, he just shoots a kid. What you don't know about these basketball games is they are playing for their life. <laughs> like when those black kids lose, they get shot afterwards. You don't uh, know damn. that. This how is the th- truth. How do you guard somebody with a gun on them, though? What? Like, honestly, how do you guard somebody with a gun on them? How like, do you, you guard so- Magic like, you- Johnson <laughs> the same way, delicately? <laughs> You're not playing lockdown defense on a guy with a Glock. Glock down defense. Glock down defense. No way, dude. You fucking fall back. There's a reason why there's always distance. Nobody blocks well, you got a top it. shot. Yeah. That's the most disrespect you get in the street. And he ain't got that. That's it. But at the same time, the, the fact that they're getting any elevation. I mean, that belt is that belt weighs heavy. a lot. Have heavy. you felt that belt? All cops are very bottom heavy. Yeah? They're all like this, the waist and the, the fucking Batman utility belts that they wear, whatever the fuck it is. Walking around with quads, bro. Yeah, yeah. They, carrying that shit around. They, yeah. they, Never seen them dunk though. Cops, they, they explosive. They got anyway. It. So, all right, we got you got that out of your system. Eh, that's fine. Whatever. Fine? Cops okay. lie. It's no, all right. it's what else? New. What else we got? <laughs> can we talk about free and Levar Ball? Can we talk about how? Oh my yeah, man? we can definitely talk about that shit. Can we talk about free and Levar Ball? Can we talk, so, were you here when we talked about this Friday? We did. We did a little bit. So, Akash, mm. your thoughts. You, you was the first one to be like, yo, that I, was it. I don't like this shit at all. I don't like this Molly, whatever the fuck her name is, Kareem. However, and maybe in the moment I can get you take some shit the wrong way, yeah. but then afterward all you got to say is, yo, I can see how I misunderstood that. Yeah. That's all she has to That's do. A- she has to just say, honestly, I can see how I misunderstood that in the moment. I'm sorry. And this all goes away. Mm. And I'm not a LeVar fan. I don't dislike the guy intensely, but I don't like him. Right. Y'all love him. Yeah. And he got done so fucking dirty. As you said, as my exact thought was, he was just saying a sentence. You can switch gears with me anytime. He didn't say, you can switch gears with me anytime. Yeah. Yes. He didn't call her sweetheart. He didn't call her boo. He called her nothing. Well, people were talking about the, the hand gesture that he did, like the fucking the shift gears or whatever. And then they showed like an episode maybe like from two, three years ago. He does the exact same thing. It was like, switch gears. <laughs> same exact thing. Yeah, and I saw like, that episode. I can totally, un- like, I, I 100% agree with you. Her I can pause, totally say in the moment. And then on. Jamil Hill, who... Yeah. Like her, that's fine, but she does do this. Okay. She will, uh, what's the word, politicize something. Right. Mm-hmm. Kudos to Molly Kareem for, Kareem for standing up to LeVar Ball's sexist comments, blah, blah, blah. Throw gas on the flame. I've seen her do this to Dog Dez pile. about a harmless fucking pizza tweet before. Right. She be doing this. Okay. Those two together made this a huge deal. My liter- All they got to do is backtrack. My literal only thing about that, 
that I could I could see where they're coming from. And I tweeted this, and somebody made it made me see it from a different point of view. So shout out to I forgot who it was. Right. But it was like, would Lavar Ball have said that to Stephen A. or Max? Like, if he, what do you say, Stephen A. You can switch gears with me anytime. We'd be, no, we, he'd be we'd meaner. Pause it to death, right? We'd be like, oh, pause. That's okay. First of all, wild. first of all, first of all, yes, maybe he wouldn't say that, yeah. right? But at the same time. There are female hosts that get spoken to differently in many different ways. For example, yeah. if a female d- host has a sports opinion that's stupid, Stephen A. doesn't go, that's preposterous. That's <laughs> one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. He's, he's a lot that, more delicate when, listen, when he's speaking exactly, to women on the show. Exactly. Absolutely. If I you're may, supposed to. Molly, if I may. So mm-hmm. if you are getting dealt with baby gloves or mm-hmm. whatever that term is, what is it called? Maybe gloves, Children gloves, uh, whatever. Child yeah, gloves, right. whatever the fuck it is. There are going to be things where you deal with the female host a little bit differently. That's fair. Yes, maybe he wouldn't use that. You could switch gears with me anytime. That being said, that line is just something that's somewhat charming mm. that you could use with women. I don't think it has too much sexual innuendo. Would you feel a way if a guy said that to your girl? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. that's another thing. Mm-hmm. And I could see myself reacting, but over time, if I looked at it again and I watched his language after, his body language after was locked in. Right. There was no, it wasn't, it didn't seem sexual to me at all. Yeah. I know I'm not a girl, but it just seemed to me like he's just talking. He's like, no, come on. Here's the thing. Let's look at it like this. Who's somebody that we hate hearing them talk? I don't like LaVar. Oh, I love LaVar. That's why I'm biased. But, but that's, so that's a good example. Trump. I, what? What? No, I love her. <laughs> it's the most entertaining. I'm talking about someone who we truly do not like. There, hearing them talk about sports, their opinions. Who's the? Uh, who, oh, oh, what's his face? Who's the uh, chick that looks like Jonah Hill? That's always on ESPN. Ramona, Ramona Shelburne. Ramona Shelburne. Shelburne. Oh, <laughs> so, like, oh, come on, son. <laughs> so, I like Ramona Shelburne, dude. Uh, Ramona Windhorse. You know she looked like yeah, yeah. You know the catcher in the sand. You know, you know the catcher in the sand lot. That's who Ramona <laughs> Shelburne looked like. Pull out the catch in the syrup in the sand light and Ramona Shelburne. You throw a ball like a girl. <laughs> and Ramona's like, I am a girl. <laughs> Did you guys not know that I'm a girl? <laughs> You're terrible. Man. Oh, come Yo, on, man. man. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, Jesus. Uh, anyway, the point. What's the point Dude, you were going to do? It looks like Ramona <laughs> Shelburne <laughs> got sharded on. Doesn't it? Doesn't it look like Ramona Shelburne was about to eat some ass and then the guy just sharded <laughs> all over her face? Not a full shit, but just a spray a diarrhea. Spray fart. Wow. Oh my oh god. He looks like measles Ramona. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just mean. Get vaccinated. Okay. Oh That's just God. mean. Anyway, oh so if God. she came and said some a little bit disrespectful shit, I think I would be I mean, I don't care, you know me. I'm not triggered by this shit, but I think I would be less forgiven. I think we have one of these situations where it's like we love Michael Jackson so much, not you, yeah. but the general population right. loves uh, Michael Jackson so much that we're willing to look past yeah. these these allegations. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Continue. Continue. Still valid. So, that's me. Yeah, Thriller still, still gets played. So, so, and then the I think that we love Lavar so much that we're so or, or so entertained by Lavar. We're like, I don't want to miss out on that. Mm. Therefore, what he said wasn't disrespectful enough for him to get fired. There's a little, there's a little bias response, here. Say again. I love his response. I didn't see his response because oh. he's no longer in ESPN. What do you say? Uh, somebody called him out, you know, outside of the Drew League and they would yeah. ask him, he's like, oh, how do you feel about getting banned from ESPN? He's like, how are they going to ban me? I don't work for them. <laughs> yeah. And he was just like, uh, you know, I would never hit on Molly Karam. You know, I was not, I didn't mean anything sexual by it. The only way I would ever hit on Molly Karam is if she broke into my house in the middle of the night and I thought she was the boogeyman. <laughs> like hit on, yeah, like, swing yeah. on, swing on. Wow. Yeah. Which is like, way to double down. I don't yeah, know if you want to double down on the DB. Double but. down with a <laughs> physical abuse. Now you're not only sexually abusing her, you are now physically phys- abusing her. And you know what? I think that's a reasonable time to hit a woman. I'm not saying that you Listen, should. You never hit a woman. If she, Alex, if a woman oh, breaks into your what was that movie? <laughs> Set it off with those five yeah. chicks. Who, Queen Latifah. Queen Latif. First Queen of all, Latifah. Latifah, 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 take that punch. Son. Maybe not straight right, but you could hook off on Latifah. <laughs> I think you could hook off. Look, you got four girls coming to your house try to rob you. Yeah. You. They got masks on. You don't even know they're bitches. <laughs> you don't even know they're bitches. They got the full mask on, and you start hooking now, off on them. All this now, this the, and now you don't even notice they're you bitches. You know Vivica a bitch. No, no, no. You, you know, know Vivica. Because nah, you're looking at them like Vivica. it's dark, but you kind of see him swaying with their hips. You're like, damn, that guy got body. But whatever. <laughs> 
<laughs> whatever. He ain't gonna steal my jewelry. You know what I mean? Yo, I would love to watch a Lavar Ball set it off crossover, <laughs> bro. <laughs> but it's trying to rob Lavar. All I'm Ball's saying, house. boom. You you have them break into your house. You gonna start swinging on someone that breaks into your house? I don't. I think that's a completely reasonable time. Oh, that's totally right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. If you don't know that they're a woman yet. If a, if what if you do? What if they coming in the heels? You hear the heels clacking, but you see that they're starting to steal all your shit. They're going after all your good shit. Mm. They're trying to take your fucking TV off the wall. You not gonna start swinging? And then you call the nice truthful cops. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Come yeah, on, man. yo. Um, nah. So with the whole of our ball you thing, man, you would not gosh. Huh? No, I wouldn't swing on Latifa just because I don't want to get beat up by her. <laughs> what about <laughs> she's what in that first one? What about the little one? Her rocks, what huh? about the little one? Jada could get fucked up. <laughs> 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 Hell, where I said it. <laughs> Don't tell Jada though. I'm actually not confident I can beat her up either. Hey, Jada, oh, one of the three wishes you're going to want is for me to stop whooping that ass. <laughs> All right, that's how this shit goes hey, down. Hey, 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 get in there, get in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, come listen, in. we don't have come we in. don't have the mic on, do we? Nah, nah we don't. Uh, we don't have, I mean, come good. say hi. Come say hi. Yeah, Just say hello. Come, come, say hi. come say hi. Kip, what up, son? You know fashion? Come, Yo, you know fashion. look at oh, okay. look at text on, little brother. Let's go, man. <laughs> come so, come bend down a little bit so you're in the frame. Hey, 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 hey. So you're in the frame. We don't there do pause is. here. We do fast forward. Does premium forward, Pete, baby. is there anything we want to say? Uh, What's up, Internet? Nothing. Listen, once uh, I, hey. I, the last couple of episodes been on fire, man. Thank hey, you. Appreciate I really that, like that, man. Lisa and one, you seem to get your little dick hard. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Indians don't got big dicks. They don't have big no. dicks. No. They don't. I haven't tried to tell people, man. They don't believe us. <laughs> it's a you lie. It's a lie, bro. No, you it's think that your dick is bigger than Akash's? Absolutely. Are you 100% sure? Easy. You got 10 inches? Tines. Go. Solid pull and spread. I bet nobody wants to know this, but Tines. <laughs> you got to speak into the microphone. The tines, well, these mics are actually good that they can hear me. Just speaking. Um, <laughs> Italians are known to be good lovers. Yeah. You know? Now, Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, they're good to be good pussy eaters. Mm. Right. But Italians are very good romantic. Like, okay. What the fuck are you talking about? about? That's that's this is what we're talking about. about. Your penis, Peter. Okay, look, ready? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know, do you think you have a bigger hog than that guy right Absolutely. there? Absolutely. <laughs> There's one way we can find out. <laughs> How I many mean patrons this. you have to get to the other Listen, 7,500 <laughs> patrons. No, no, where are you at now? Wait for it. We're 70 for 6,000 something. 7,500 patrons. You suck Akash's dick. <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it, bro. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. He out. sucks your dick. It's 69, and whoever gives up first, okay? <laughs> whoever gives up, whoever gags guys, first. Why do you do this every week, man? I'm uh, just saying. Uh, I go to church a lot. I guys. Was, <laughs> I would thought we were going to have a dick measuring concert night. We are with oh, your throat. I mean, it's the a, it's best measure, man. Of... <laughs> That's the best way to measure a <laughs> dick. <laughs> Yabba dabba doo. It's a gag ruler. This is the way I measure my dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know the cable vision remote? Yeah. Yeah, you you take the I batteries out of that. <laughs> <laughs> you won't go right into that shit. <laughs> I passed that. <laughs> oh, I take the man. batteries out of that. You're getting up, son. It's still over late. here, son. You in the fucking frame. Yeah, the frame Sit on man. Andrew Lett, dog. Come on, let's not get comfy. Lap, no. Come on, son. Let's sit on his lap. No. You guys are bad friends. Guys, stop it. Yeah. Can fine. you just sit on my just mouth? Just at the end of the day. <laughs> just at the end of the day. Just sit on my mouth, son. Right there. Right there. Like, That's you know it. Why? This is what happens. First what of all, happens? You gonna like it. That's what's gonna happen. You gonna fucking like it. You got a lot of gray in your beard. It's okay. I'll bring back the black hair. You just gotta sit on my mouth. Listen, who you know is going to be sitting on the mouth? Alex. What's uh, that? Hey. Alex already done his time. <laughs> wow. It's wow. Sweden, bro. Wow. That, that <laughs> was... Listen, go. There's an international oh, tour coming up for Andrew Schultz. Right. Yeah. Okay, tell him where you're going. All right. I'm going to go right to your gooch. <laughs> I'm going to start right there. I'm going to work it up. But does go anyone on. understand what's happening? Alex is going back out I don't understand what's happening wild. at all. Oh, God. Okay. That's true. <laughs> That is true. Do you trust them? I don't know how I'm going back over here. First of all, don't let them distract us from what's going on, okay? <laughs> We're talking about you guys sucking toes. <laughs> okay? Don't oh, adjust your shirt. Take is your fucking ready? jacket off. Let's feel that meat. Yo, there's two, uh, there's two oh, evenly boy, linked tables. Oh, boy, water. There's two evenly linked tables. Yo, we got a pen right here. Hold just on. Roll it out. You just bowl, took a sip of that water, okay? You just made your throat a slip and slide. <laughs> the jacket's coming off. Why are you taking off clothes, Pete? Oh, no, he's shit. ready, yo. He just showed he's the ready, cannon, dude. bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh, he just showed the cannon. Yeah, welcome to the gun show. 
right. Real talk. All right. Okay, so Akash. I'm down to fuck Pete. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm ready. What you talking about, son? So I don't need to convince me. Bro. <laughs> so, Akash is about that life, bro. Has, he, bro. Italian? Has bro. he ever had an Italian? Have you ever had an Italian? No, nah, son. Mouthful, I'm not gay, dog. Stop saying weird shit. <laughs> Wait, why are you trying to hit on me? Fuck me. You were the one talking about fuck fucking. You. you walked in and talking about sucking cocks and fucking <laughs> guys. I know you did time, dog. Don't let it get to you. <laughs> that was a good time. Stop taking it with you. That was a good time. No, but for real, Pete, we need to have an intervention with all your gay jokes because what we try to do on this show is we try to have a very straight, heterosexual show. Mm. And every time you come in here, I feel like you're always talking about being romantic with men's mouths. This is true. <laughs> This is three for three see, at this point. Am I wrong? I, like, I don't see where you're wrong. Like, no, it, before it, this, we're just sitting here, we're talking, right? We're talking about you. We're talking about, about LeVar Ball. Ball. You come in here and immediately it's you like, I want to gobble dicks. some fucking yeah. dicks. <laughs> you're just talking about <laughs> gobbling dicks. You see, this is the this first, right this is the first time ever. Don't go nowhere. No, no, okay? this, this is the try, first time ever switch gears. Has try been your hardest. Listen, try your hardest. I want you to try hardest to have a conversation with us, okay? Without talking about spitting on a dude's chest and rub your balls on it. <laughs> I never did that. See, that's the problem. <laughs> it's so that's vivid. the problem. What you, a vivid. vivid. Cat. What a vivid. You've vivid. seen this. You've done this a lot. Cat. You, you go away. You go away. Bro, uh, he just mops his balls you. on the <laughs> chest like a car wash. Just, just <laughs> lands <laughs> like that. Pete, you walked right into this, man. I, I, so that's Bro, a new dude. tarmac. <laughs> yeah, it's time. It's not time. <laughs> He's sweating. You got, you dude, your it. back is sweaty, no, bro. It's because it's turned on. It's okay. Higher. Real talk. So can we have a, a conversation that has nothing to do with gay sex? Is that possible? <laughs> But you have to tell them That's all I'm just asking. No, no, no. Dude, it's just for framing purposes. It's, it's not gay, Charles, bro. It's not Andrew Claus. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew Claus. Claus. I'm here all night. I'm here all night. Dude, okay. Uh, uh. So, all right. You were saying something. Remember, we were texting something on the phone. You were saying you... you What was, you, what was it about? About... You were like, there's, we should do asset. At, what, what was it? What was the exact thing you were saying? It was ass no, to ass? Was that the thing? Oh, ass, ass the ass. mouth? <laughs> how you got sucked in? What the fuck? Put what? his hands on the table Dude, so I listen. I don't understand how he gets sucked in when you usually want to it. What do you mean ass to? What are you talking about? <laughs> He's the one. You're in the whirlwind. You're in the whirlwind. Don't leave it's us, Pete. You, you're in the whirlwind. You're here now. Okay, real talk. Don't go nowhere. Okay, good. That, That's oh, hey. Hey. Knees, aren't we? Hey. Yo. Hey, that one's talking. What you, <laughs> what you praying for on your knees, Pete? <laughs> Uh, God, I don't know the response to that one. What do you say when you say alhamdulillah? I don't um, know, son. Shake it with me like Russian, and do you your job. Cut <laughs> the Kirk is the yeah, name. Say, uh, or head, of, <laughs> head of Shah. Head of Shah. Yeah, and then uh, you say... That was funny. I just thought that. That was funny. That was funny. sounds like Arabic. Of, uh, can, can shut the fuck up, dog. What you over here, <laughs> what you over here yammering about, dog? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you still talking, son. Take your knee, son. Take your knee, son. All right, we're sharing listen, a mic. Listen, listen, listen. Let's talk to me, son. Premier Pete is on one knee. Talk to me, son. With his arm over Andrew's lap. Come on. Right now. Talk to me, son. When I was trying to make a point before he got hostile. like 66% of the way where we want to get there. What we should do is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's set up something where me and Akash have like a Yo, stop, like an MMA man. fight. How about we do this? How about we do this? <laughs> you guys get hard and try to stick your dick as far as you can into a Subway sandwich roll. Okay? <laughs> and then we'll see at which point the dough stops moving out of the way. Mm. And that's the guy who has the longer that dick. That's true. And then we'll use it for a sandwich and eat it. <laughs> All right. Wait. No? <laughs> <laughs> no? We don't uh, do that? Think, think what will we do? What will we not do that? That sounds like a great Idea. Listen, you walked into this, bro. Yeah, but I, I didn't think I was walking into this. What did you think what you were walking into? What did you think you were walking into? into? Fuck. <laughs> I'm mud wrestled as fuck. You understand? <laughs> you will be mud wrestled. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. When you put your face in that butthole. No, no, no. I can always try to not be gay and then say some wild gay shit. Yeah, you really you mud wrestle? No, mud wrestle, bro? No, no, no. Yeah, I do a little MMA. Yeah. Don't you want to lick the chicken gizzard? Mud wrestle, bro. <laughs> oh, mud wrestle is I do a little mud I mean, wrestle him. You, you mud wrestle like, when you're for real? fucking no, dudes. No, no, I, I do. Mud You've wrestle. done it before. You've no, mud wrestled no, no, before. No, 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 but I'll do it straight out the mud. That's what straight we're calling. Oh, straight the out the mud. Okay, that's, that's good marketing. Okay, uh, so as opposed to straight in the butt like you normally do. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, I wish he was away with me. Real talk. Yeah, oh, the, yeah wow. what you do. <laughs> Wait a minute. By away, do you mean like a trip to Cancun, or do you mean like uh, <laughs> I mean, some, in the penitentiary? When I, when I had my times back in the day, yeah. Uh, uh, what I do? I pay my uh, service. Pay your to, debts to society. Yes, there we go, Cass. Thank yes. you, Cass. Uh, if he was there, he would have been used as a rag doll. Mm. He said your butt is currency. Stop Akash. hitting on me, Pete. God yeah. damn, son. I'm not you know what? Yeah, tell me. Tell they me, would tell me, have took all that. Hold on, hold on. Is this is what you call a date? I need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, no, go. No, I'm go. just saying, you know, the the, the jail would have been different. I'm going to start night. whacking off right now. <laughs> 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 just sit in his lap, yeah, bro. Just down. sit in the lap, okay, man. Like, this guy is a sick, he's a just sick fucking fuck. relax, bro. Okay, keep talking. No, tell what would happen in jail. What do you think would happen in jail? Yeah. No, if Akash was there, I'm just right. saying he would he would bring a different flavor. Whoa, right. whoa, whoa. Okay. All right, <laughs> all right, <laughs> right. yo, what are you doing, man? I'm talking about you missed this whole thing. Akash got right in the position. You got right in the position. Keep going, Pete. Keep going. What's wrong with you, man? Keep going. Keep telling us your story. <laughs> Pete, Pete, we want to hear the no, prison story. The arm hair is mad long. Pete, we want to hear your prison story. His arm hair is mad long. Oh, yeah. Pete, Pete, we want to hear your prison story. Hold on. We want to hear your prison story. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Look, look, look. God damn. Look, look, look. 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 Look, look, Oh my god, Pete, stop trying to get me to suck your dick, son. What are you fucking talking about, man? God damn. All right, all right, Pete, Pete, come back, come back. Just a little dick sucking. I'm putting it put on my show. I'm putting it on Listen, frequent. listen, if y'all think this is wild, you got to hear us on Premium Peace Podcast. I got to yeah, do a big plug because I don't know if I had sugar that day. I don't know if Akash had some that sugar so that day. Fun. Maybe Kaz had some sugar <laughs> that day. But. Yeah, Kaz, I was Kaz, chilling. Kaz was, Kaz was like, I was chilling. We were, bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> we were being <laughs> absurd. It was. Yeah. It, what's the name of the app so they could look for it, Pete? Uh, Flagrant. Flagrant 2. Yeah. It's called Flagrant 2? Premium Pete Show, Flagrant 2 episode. Come right. check that out, man. Sure back on with. Why? You got right he back on his knees. Turned on? Right? He's comfortable, yeah. Okay, so. I thought like you had a, a white shirt on a second ago. No. Okay. I didn't. You blacked out, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All the fucking blood in your head <laughs> rushed to your dick. Molly on the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pete, Pete, is there anything that you could tell us? Is there any words of wisdom? I know you have a lot of wisdom. You're a father, okay? Mm -hmm. You're a father of two. About to okay? join the club, by the way. You're hey, and Thank congrats. you, bro. Appreciate that. Okay, yes, but it's about Pete right now. All right, Pete. So, oh, my fault. I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, okay, you're a father of two. You're a successful entrepreneur, a successful businessman. What type of advice can you give the asshole army? What type of advice can you bestow on them? Mm, mm, if you could give them a couple bars, if you could give them a couple bars, tell them. Uh, I would say never. It's funny because I never see you serious, but I'm not going to. I'll be funny, serious, but I'll be serious. You know, never ever listen to other people tell you what you can't do. Mm. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. If you try to explain to you, say you just did this. Right, meaning the podcast. Yeah. And you try to explain to your mom, like Patreon, all that shit. Nobody would understand. Point taken is a lot of kids I grew up with. When yeah. I told them I was going to do podcasts, and they're like, bro. What the fuck is that? Uh, yeah. What do you well, get? No, no, no yeah. just meaning like they were like, why would you, like, nobody wants to hear you, or right. like, you didn't go to radio, you didn't go yeah. to broadcasting <laughs> school for this. Yeah. So the asshole army uh, could be very successful. Just by uh, um, doing, following, following what they want to do. And Dead serious. Blocking out the haters. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you know, I mean, look, Akash has the smallest dick in the world, <laughs> and he's winning. Let me ask you a question. You're right, I mean Pete. This You're this right. I've, I've always wondered, right? <laughs> With a smaller dick, right? How do you how do you suck on that? <laughs> <laughs> you tweeze it. <laughs> you don't tweeze it, you just. <laughs> nah. Akash don't need to use condoms. Put stop, a piece of gum. Stop trying to get me to fuck raw, you Whoa. fucking weirdo, dog. Hey, wait, he said put a piece of gum on it. Okay. <laughs> I, don't know what you... I don't know what that means either. <laughs> it's either. not a sexy. I'll hey, have Pete, a date. I don't know how <laughs> you guys use protection in jail, but uh, that shit is not going to fly here in a free world. <laughs> Okay? Well, We're not putting Trident on his cock. Well, the point I was making is it's so small. That uh, we get the point you were making. You don't making. need a condom. You just put a piece of... You know, we, gum no, we got uh, it. We just didn't laugh. Oh, you didn't like it? Okay. No, it's, uh, it's I fine. I just that. thought it was sticky, and I thought maybe it was why you want to get stuck in why your ass. 
I didn't know. Is, is this part of the Matador tour? This is. Okay. Yeah. God, I mean, every, I do God get, help us all. You're trying to get the horns? For bringing people on like God this? help us all. Oh, oh yeah. Of course, man. Big ass stipend. My Absolutely. dick. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. All right. I think I think that you know we've probably let this run its course. Yes, the yes, the yes. gay jokes that we've done yeah, here. Yeah. Um, that being said, I do think that it, we've left it undecided as to who has a larger cock, <laughs> you or Akash. Okay, conventional wisdom would tell us since you are Italian, are you from Sicily? Sicily. What did you say? As, Sicily. I mean, real Italians pronounce it Sicily. Sicily. Easy way to figure it out. <laughs> mm. He got butter. Stop, chicken. stop, stop, Hold stop, on. stop, stop. I know you're going to say. I got a sausage and peppers. I know you do. I know. But in Sicily, <laughs> they don't have sausage. What's Sicily? Sicily. That's how you say it in Italian. Italian. You don't know nothing about Italian stuff. I grew stuff, up in Stanton. Even I knew that shit. Sicily. 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 Yeah. Like, it's like it's not mozzarella, it's mozzarella. Uh, it's mozzarella. How do you say prosciutto? <laughs> how do you say prosciutto? Prosciutto. But actually, Fucking you know idiot. Funny? How realize, do you say ice cream? Ice, ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> no, but I realize. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say uh, uh, Musa mo- mozzarella. Yeah. Right. It, 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 and, and people say uh, mozzarella. Right. So, so, yeah, it could be wrong. But actually, uh, I say guinea cheese. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> Swiss cheese. <laughs> wow. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Yo, there was a, a last point I was going to make uh, yeah. for you. Uh, but the asshole. Oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Is there an. There's nobody that's gay that's part of the asshole army. Yes. There's plenty of gay people that have army. Me. Hold on. Especially the one of our... Akash <laughs> is... I'll have you know Akash is gay. Uh, okay. Yeah, but I, this is a false... Uh, come on. His, no, got, there's, there's tons of gay people that follow plenty of show. gays that are part of the asshole and, army. And Keep it they, loose. The they, name they, of the army is the asshole army. You think we don't have gays in the asshole army? And they're appreciative of the gay jokes on the show, might I add. They're, yeah. Like, yeah, they're like, oh man, yeah. you guys are fucking funny. Yeah. Hey, maybe they're not jokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. no, no. Thank you for swinging Premium Pete, Pete, everybody. Premium I love you, brother. Love you, Yo, check out the Premium Pete love podcast, you, man. Premium <laughs> Pete show. Job, love you, Dad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Real Monday, talk. Maybe Andrew and uh, Kasha learn how to let it... Uh... Sp- shoot the club up. <laughs> Damn, son. You are crazy. Hey, you are crazy, Premium Pete. Ooh. Hey, that's hey, my cousin, Pete. Hey, 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 hey. That's my cousin, son. Pete's just out here bullying Indians, bro. <laughs> I know, son. Motherfucking savage. All right, all right, all right. All right. We're filming a podcast here. We don't need to dap everybody up. God damn it. Okay, Benson, guys. I'll see you later. Where were guys, we at? Where see you later, white dude. I am sorry. Dude. I am sorry for that, guys. We just get so fucking horny when <laughs> Pete comes in here. It's hard not to. If you saw him, you would get horny too. Akash, <laughs> let's let's get folks again. Let's get back to what we're talking about. Molly and Lavar, are we done with it? Honestly, one quick notification, please. Uh, do you think they were just looking for a, a reason? Yeah. No, no, no. I think. ESPN, do you think they were just looking for like some buzz? Yep. So here's you know, the like thing. Stay in your buzz place is line. very interesting. Yeah. Buzz is very interesting. I think that for a while they've been trying to say we got to stop reporting on LeVar Ball in the same way that some people say we got to stop reporting on Trump because it only helps Trump. Right? So ESPN is going to be like, let's stop reporting on, on, on LeVar Ball. If Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady has said, you could change gears with me anytime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not getting banned yeah. from ESPN. <laughs> yeah. Big fan. Right? So they cut off somebody that they could cut off. Good so point. That, that didn't value, that wasn't valuable to them. Yeah. Right? Because they could. Not valuable anymore. Not valuable anymore or didn't offer that much value, mm-hmm. I guess. And see, we'll, see next year thinking, we'll see next year when LaMelo's a, a lottery I'm thinking pick. further. They know how he reacts to things. So, oh, let's ban him. Let's see what he says. Then it's now it's the story arc. That's a good point. And now they're going to make up and then win, it's win. welcome back. And he's going to do most of the promotion win, for win. this situation. That's true. Win win. Outrage. It's, it's conversation. Yeah. 100%. I think it's totally, totally valid. It's a win win for ESPN. But all I'm saying is you're not going to keep that same energy because there was a clip that came out. I don't know if you saw it. And I think it was Deion Sanders mm. or somebody was trying to get Molly to hike the ball to him. Yeah, and she's in a skirt, and he's like, "No, no, Molly, you hike it to him." And then she's just trying to hand it off. He goes, "No, no, 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 hike it, hike it." Basically saying, yeah. "Bend over yeah. and wow. shoot it between your legs," right? And he tries a few times. He ain't get fired. No, nope. he didn't get fired. So it is a very easy virtue signal. You have someone that you're willing to cut off, and it's easy to go. We care about our employees. It wasn't an ESPN reporter, but somebody said to Rob Gronkowski something about you have like 68 touchdowns, and he said something like to a female like, yes. not 69. You wish it was something. Yeah. Rob. Joking mm. Rob shit, yep. but nobody said well, anything about banning Gronk. Rob. Gronk is Gronk is big level. Oh, that's just Gronk. Yeah, Gronk that's gets just, away with it for sure. But mm-hmm. also, ESPN could have 
virtue signal right there. I mean, like, well, you know what? Gronk is not welcome on our network anymore. Gronk is a big time athlete. We need Gronk. We need the Patriots. We need Belichick. We need Brady. We need all that. I just exactly. hope they keep that same energy for the rest. For, for they're everybody not. else, which they won't. Nah, they're not going to keep won't. it. And you know what's interesting is that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure something would have come out if that was the case, but you know, Lavar is a married man. His wife, I believe, has cancer. Yes, and that's that's the one thing that jumped out at me first. Cause I'm like, anybody, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a married I'm, man. I'm a big baller, Baron Stan. I watched the show on Facebook, and you you see right. how much of a family man that motherfucker so, is. How married much he cares guy, for that woman. wife has cancer, has given us no signs at all that he's cheating on his wife. Yep. Has given us no signs at all that he's got other side chicks out there. And please yep. believe that if he did, yep. somebody would, would be leveraging would it know. in a fucking heartbeat, especially right now. So. It maybe he did say this even in a charming sexual way, but if you know that the action is not behind it, then we can giggle. Yeah, it's like when an old man says, "Hey there, cutie," to like the waitress. Mm. That old man ain't fucking that waitress. <laughs> it's your granddad, right? Yeah. So I think you could. I think you could back off. I think ESPN took advantage of a political moment. No, yeah. I get it. They, they, yeah. had, they had a reason to do it, but at the same time, I just felt like it was just, a, just such a fucking overreaction. Totally. Right, and I just right. wish somebody could just be like, hey, let's 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 all be adults here. Oh, we know happened? this wasn't it. This wasn't what was We're going to go back to normal. Right, so, Akash, we'll what else we got? Uh, you seen the rap beef between Dame and uh, Marvin Bagley? Oh, Yo. Woo! Marvin Bagley kind of has some bars. That Yo, they high. both have bars. They both bro. slap, dude. <laughs> they like both, both have bars. I was shocked. I both, didn't hear Dame's. Fight. I didn't hear Dame. Oh, I didn't hear Dame's, Dame's Dame. second track. He came Dame's out. He draped it back to back. Yeah. He had two that night. Hold on. So Dame is uh, is the song uh, on SoundCloud or is yeah. it? It was on SoundCloud. Yeah. Meaning, so, uh, wait for it. Meaning, can we listen to it without a copyright infringement, or will we get in trouble? Uh, he's using the Duffy he's using the Duppy freestyle freestyle. So we can't. Yeah. That will get picked up. Okay. But that wasn't. That's that's a that, that was a freebie too. That's not on Apple or iTunes or none of that shit. Oh, true. We might be able to play. It. Yeah, Duppy freestyle wasn't a, a, an official single, and it's not. It was hard. Uh, it's risque. Yeah. It's risque. But at the same time, yeah. So uh, Marvin Bagley goes the first take, talking about NBA draft shit, whatever. But on Max Kellerman stirs it up, stirs it up nice. And oh, you think you could take the, uh, Damon Lillard in the rap battle? He's like, it's like I can take anybody out of here. Drops a single. Marvin Bagley drops a song like maybe like an hour after that happens, and Dame's like tweeting that, tweeting about him like as the game as the game as the show's going on. Yeah. Marvin Bagley drops the record during the NBA draft. Like I think it was like the eighth and ninth pick. <laughs> Dame drops the record, blows up on Twitter. I'm thinking, and he sends out another link. I'm thinking that okay, maybe he just uploaded like the, the same album artwork or whatever. Same. It's like no, <laughs> another disc record <laughs> comes out after that. And they're both fire. Like, all four of the records and everybody were... thought Bagley was done, buried, gone, and then he came back and Bagley he just came back slept. with some heat. <laughs> came back with some heat. Bagley, he, said, he, had a, he had a line. I think Dame Lillard said something about his dad, uh, which is, I think, is true, because I guess it was like some AAU shit, whatever, because he went to his camp, whatever, Adidas. He's like, oh, you know, I know you, I, you, you was asking me for some Dame Lillard kicks and you and your dad or whatever. And then Bagley came back with a fire bar. I might, I might butcher the fuck out of this shit. At least I but got he a said, dad. He said something. <laughs> <laughs> he says something along the lines of like, "Yeah, I had them them days, but them shits is whack. And I sent them back, and you know now I'm with Puma, and my pockets is fat, or some shit like that." And I was like, "Oh, right. like was- the beat was good, the flow was nice." Yeah. The one thing he said is you've been a you've been a uh, Marvin fan and uh, nobody a Marvin fan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you literally just got here, bro. Son, the Kings got like four fans. Like I, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's the one line I took exception with, but other than that, it was hot. And they play each other four times a year. I love it. They should. They should do I this at the end of a game. I love the theater of this. Mm. I think it's good. I think it will get us interested in an otherwise unwatchable NBA yes. game. Yes, and that is the for many reasons the genius of of uh, of story that we always talk about on the podcast. Yeah, mm. they put in all these dog shit games have to have story behind them i would not be if i was the guy who was running the nba i'd have all these oh. little beefs popping oh. off it is completely opposite to podcasting because when i was talking about how we all this have is unity, co- it is conflict in its very nature yes mm-hmm. it is competition yeah. you are literally fighting against each other for a winner mm-hmm. yeah it's and a non-violent war yes it is a non-violent war, controlled war yeah right so why not heat the war up as much as you possibly can yep. you have a a a pot of water Maybe you don't want it to boil, but get it bubbling. Yeah. We want to get as close as we can. So I think that every dog shit team in the West and East should get on Twitter and start barking. Because you know for that one game, them Kings, 
are going to come in and they're going to play hard. I don't think you can overuse it, but yeah. You, yeah. 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 It doesn't have to be rap. It could be something whatever, else. Whatever the beef is. But it's, like, look what, uh, what's, what's Embiid did, right? Embiid's little beef with the guy on the Pistons, the bum. What's the bum? Oh, the Pistons? Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond, Drummond yeah. right? It's like, now he's I'm right, actually, he's, he's okay. He's but <laughs> but uh, now I'm actually interested in... Uh, what yeah. was the thing? Your Pistons plus minus is trash. That was his. Something. That was his go-to line. <laughs> something. But now I'm interested in an otherwise easy game yeah. for the Sixers, right? Yeah. I think you got to do this. Oh, this is for sure going to be on e- when the Sixers, Sixers, when the Blazers play the Kings next year. It's for sure going to be on ESPN. They're not going to. That's not. That's not a league pass game. Right. That's you a know what did kind of bother me? So the the Marvin Bagley line bothered me, and I'm a damn fan. Everybody knows this. I've been saying he better than Kyrie. But after you get swept, you just being loud. <laughs> like you just got swept and now you coming out with two diss tracks talking about don't fuck with me it's like bro you just got swept right not by him <laughs> yeah yeah but you just got swept yeah. like so there's a lot of big energy for somebody who I would expect to have small I expect you to have last year's energy again right last year you were in the in the gym all the time working on driving the lane all your insta yeah, stories you didn't achieve that. shit yet yeah. you achieve but something should we also say the same thing about Marvin like why are you even talking yeah agreed also like, you uh, haven't I, proved anything in the league. Matter of fact, I think he said that in his first year in the league, he was going to win MVP. That was his goal. That was his goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He, he was like, my the first year, year in the league is going to win MVP. Was he even third in the voting? Luca, was, Luca and Trey are going to be first and second. I don't even think uh, he's third. DeAndre Ayton. Ayton going to be third. The NBA Awards are tonight. It's Luca, Trey, and Ayton. It's not even I can't number. believe Ayton was even there. I didn't see a single highlight from him the bro, entire year. Bro, Mitchell Robinson's better than him, bro. He might be. <laughs> Honestly, I thought Aiton was trash when I went to Summer League last year, and I ta- and I spoke to my boys out there about it, and they said, listen, Summer League, the guards aren't good enough to get the ball to the power forwards and the bigs down low. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're just not that good, right? You don't have the elite guys, okay, but you don't have the elite passing, so they don't end up getting touches. Summer League is all guard play. Mm. And that's why you would have these guys, like remember Josh Selby? Mm-hmm. Remember Vaguely. that guy? He played for the Josh Grizzlies Selby, and shit. Yeah. The guy would drop 50 a game in Summer League. Zach Levine earlier. Nate like, Robinson. <laughs> Nate Robinson. Summer League legend. They fucking go crit. They go nut, mm-hmm. right? Because yeah. the guards end up taking all the shots. Yeah. yeah. But they, you looked at uh, Aiton in, in the Summer League game, big for nothing. That's what he yeah. looked like. Now, yeah. he could be a great player in the league, but they are dependent. The bigs are dependent on a good guard. Right. Mm. And shit, if Phoenix doesn't get somebody... You know Booker ain't passing. No, Who Phoenix. Booker passing I don't know what to? Phoenix. Do. And Booker, I think I'm sounding like a real old man. I think my damn opinion was old man. If you got swept, <laughs> shut up. But like double down, fuck it. Booker, yo, he been putting up a lot of games, and his team is always the worst team in the league. Yeah, like at a certain point, it should translate to wins, right? Mm. This is my beef with Kyrie early yep. on. Yep. This is my. You know, what point at least I th- you keep the same energy. I'm giving you that credit. You know, because- a point I thought of with Kyrie too. Have you guys seen Uncle Drew? Yes. Yeah. You remember his his the whole conflict is him and Shaq and he stole Shaq's girl. I'm sorry, the movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you didn't yeah, see no, the movie. I did not see uh, that movie. The so. movie Uncle Drew. Him. The whole like main conflict is him and Shaq don't get along as they're trying to get the team together because he slept with Shaq's girl. So even in a fictitious <laughs> oh, movie, you're a Jesus. shitty teammate. <laughs> you yeah, can't even a, be a good teammate was... <laughs> in La La Land. That's how terrible of a teammate Kyrie is. Yeah. When I can't saw that, even that was pretend. the plot of the movie, I was like, wow, I thought this was for kids. <laughs> that was a sharp turn. Bruh. Yeah, Uncle Drew was like a telenovela with uh Kobe <laughs> pretends to be a good teammate in movies, I'm sure, if he was ever in one. Jordan <sighs> did. Jordan pretended Jordan it was all was about the, teamwork. The, the, the ultimate team guy. Yeah. Like Space, Jam. Space Jam. It's Jordan juice. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. MJ's secret stuff. Right, That's MJ's secret like, stuff. On, God, and Jordan. Kyrie's sleeping with... Jordan other... juice is Jordan way juice better. Why so the fuck did he do Jordan that? Jordan juice is great. Jordan God, juice damn. sounds so much more Magenius. vile. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want some of this Jordan juice? <laughs> well, now we're getting perverted. Yeah. I do. Um, I like it. <laughs> but if it made you... Would you drink a cup of Jordan's cum if it made you have his basketball ability? For how long? How That is exactly <laughs> the question I was going to ask. I'm like, do I get it forever? That's exactly the question I was going <laughs> to ask. I said, yep. Zero point zero seven. I'm like, we talking about like, yo, all right, so I already know what's going to happen. Like, people who's are gonna gay? Comments, gonna crazy. Who's gay? I'm huh? like, who's gay? Who's homophobic out how here? How irresponsible are you that you can come up a billion dollar fucking all time great athlete? All you got to do is drink a little cum. Okay. <laughs> it's, it is, uh, wait for it. It is a, a, it is a shot glass full of Jordan's cum. Can I okay? chase it? 
course. Listen, you take you have to take a shot, a full shot of Jordan's cum, full shot of Jordan's cum, and then you'll have Jordan's basketball abilities for for as long as he had them. So in other yes, words, done. Wait for it. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. So he has it as long as he has them. Okay. Take that shot. You have his basketball abilities as long as he has them. That is what happened. You just got to drink his fucking cum. Okay. So the. Why'd you say you wait for it and then just finish yeah, the know. same point? Did you there is one there. Is I want to hear reactions. Movie? All right, so do, do like the yesterday rules apply from like that movie yesterday that's coming out with the Beatles where like the world's never heard of the Beatles and this one guy. No, no, no. Everybody knows it's so Everybody knows Michael Jordan exists. Yeah. And you're drinking Michael Jordan's cum and, and you become also, the next Michael Jordan. And also, everybody knows about the bet. So, <laughs> so they know this is how you got it. Uh, oh, right, I'm, a, I'm a in bit. and I'm sticking the tongue out just like Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> just drooling on motherfuckers as I dunk on them. You're basically them. asking me, would you like to be worth a billion dollars? For a, for a shot and glass. And be the greatest basketball player to ever live? No, no, no. You're not going to play a in the league, but you can't shot? play in the league. What? Hey, what? Can't play in the league. Oh, I'm out. You Come would only on. do it to make money off of it. You wouldn't do it just to have those skills. Well, you how go do you on make it. money? I'm gonna just go to the playground and yeah, beat just, up a bunch of sixteen oh, year olds. No, fuck fuck out of here! Oh, that shit. Fuck out of here! Oh, because then the conversation is: Would you drink a cup of cum for to be a billionaire? That, yeah. that's yeah. No, no, everybody would, would do that. It? But every I'll, woman on this planet has yeah. probably drank some cum <laughs> yeah, to yeah. be a thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if the conversation is. Like suck a dick to be a billionaire, or take some come to be like a hundred millionaire and play like Jordan. Yeah, yeah. I take the hundred million and play like Jordan. Like no, 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 no. Because the there's jo- no money. All it is is the ability to play basketball but like you Jordan. Can't go to the you league. cannot monetize. So it once by a week, I get to use this thing. You play five times a week. It's a bullshit. I yeah, do okay. Hell no. What's the point? Alex? What's the point of getting superpowers? You can't use them. I'm, I'd do it. <laughs> like I like I basketball do it in a that much. Yeah. I would love to be able I to I do it in hoop. a fucking heartbeat. Uh, I I'd play three, and four I times can't a week. Dunk right now? Like Dude, you're, you're telling me if I drink some cum, I can dunk. You have a cup of Jordan's cum and you literally <laughs> you have his from the free throw line. Before, like, you, you can dunk from the free throw line. Nah, but you haven't jumped from the free throw line. <laughs> nah, 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 like that's true. different. This is different. This is dominating the game. Before. Okay? <laughs> this is days. dominated in game. Yeah. You're dominating game of Jordan. It's just a cup of cum. That's all. Now, everybody knows that that's how you got the ability. But I can't monetize Fuck it. That can't guy. monetize it. It's just because you truly love playing basketball and you want to play well. No. I don't think I love the game. I don't love much. basketball wow. that much. <laughs> no, it's not worth it. To drink some cum Ball and everybody knows you drank cum. <laughs> but wait a minute. You're so good at basketball, but you can't be in the league? Wait for it. You could play in the Drew League. You could play <laughs> you could play in all these things that you don't get paid for. You could bust the pros' ass. How about this? Nobody knows you drank the cum. You could just be this mysterious guy. That goes in, but remember the air up there? Remember that that one African guy who just yeah. comes and shows up and starts busting everybody's ass yeah. in the game, right? Yeah. That's essentially you. You go to all these leagues, you can have this fun thing, you have your Instagram cred, you play one on one against the best players in the league and end up beating them. You just can't monetize it by playing professional basketball. Do you do it? It's just purely to have the skill. I might. I might. Because that Why was the other would thing. You not? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a cum. shot of cum. It's a shot of cum. It's a one shot of cum. That's a lot. Is it? That I'm is pretty a lot, sure. Bro. It's a fucking mango latte or whatever that shit is. <laughs> Lussy, whatever. Can I, like make a smoothie what out of it. What is that shit? What is it called? Lussy. It's a mango. It it's up. a Michael Lussy. That's what it is. You take that fucking Michael Lussy to your face. It's that much cum, and then you can walk on any basketball court in the world, and you're the fucking man. Can I give you a quick side note? No. By the way, a lot of people love is the head bus boy. Load? What is that? Head bus boy was a big hit on Patreon. Head oh. bus boy was a big hit. <laughs> What's Head Bus Boy? You missed it. You guys oh, missed, you missed it. Head, I watched Head Bus Boy. Was watched y'all, need to, y'all need to go. If y'all on a Patreon, you already know about this. If you're not on a Patreon, I think we put snippets of it. Edin, did we put snippets of it? We put snippets of it on the, 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 the you know how we do a little snippet of the Patreon episode on the regular feed? Mm. Yeah. It's the dumbest character I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> it's so funny, though. But it is kind of hysterical. I can, don't... I get, can I get a head bus boy, but you just got Michael Jordan's powers and you got to explain to your wife how you got it? <laughs> <laughs> it? I don't know how long we talked about it on the episode. It felt like 15 minutes of this nah, character. It was, it, it I feel like 15 it went full for minutes. for a while, yeah. All right, so you're going to play the wife? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know how he would tell his wife that he got the, the basketball abilities. <laughs> But would he drink cum to be able to play basketball? Or what about soccer? Oh, he'd do it to play like fucking... Like Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. (laughs) Yeah. 100%. I can't believe you guys wouldn't just want those skills. I, listen, if I'm, if I'm going up against the NBA players, I'd probably do it. I'd probably kill myself. (laughs) 
What? <laughs> what? I'll probably kill it's like a dark what do you mean? Like, imagine having like being like the one percent of a talent, and you can't use that to its fullest of ability. Mm. Like that will drive you insane after a while. Like, imagine being like the smart. Like this, pro- there's probably somebody out there who's like the smartest motherfucker out there, but nobody believes him because everybody thinks he's batshit fucking crazy. Yeah. Like if you were that fucking good at basketball, like you were destroying everybody in the Drew League, fucking G League, you went to college, killed it, whatever. You were fucking averaging a million fucking points a game. You can't be in the NBA. You I have lo- no other discernible I think skills. You're even more interesting because of it. No. No, that. No, imagine, that's that's like me being- nuts. The number one comic of all time, but can't get on stage. Yeah, yeah. Word. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to do that because I love comedy so much. I love, yeah, basketball. love basketball. I would too. drive me nuts. Yo. I love <laughs> basketball, but not as much as I love comedy. And um, I, you still get to play basketball. Like, if you imagine you were the number one comic, you just couldn't make money at it. That means you could pop into shows, you could do all this kind of shit. You're just not going to make money at it. Uh, Matter of fact, I wonder. Ugh. All right, so can I monetize it in like some like fucking no, 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 no. in like some like what's his, what's his face Pee Wee Kirkland type shit, <laughs> where like Nigerian, you just go, bro. you go to Rucker Park, you go to Dykeman, you go to Drooly, no. you, you kill it. Like Kobe comes no. up to you, like Pete Kobe comes up to you. He don't listen. You kill Pete Kobe. It's my hypothetical. I'm no. I just let told me you finish no. it, motherfucker. You kill Pete Kobe, right? Yeah. You can't like make a documentary about like yo, this is the greatest guy who's oh, never been. Okay, you no. know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Akash, take us somewhere else. God damn it, uh, yo, Kyrie went to Japan. We can talk about that. His goofy ass. Nah, Kyrie, zero, Kyrie, Ky- Kyrie, a real goofy man. Kyrie's a real goofy. He like a spiritual goofy. He's a hippie man. I kind of dig it. Nah, it's he's it. he's just trying to like find something, bro. Yeah. This guy's lost. Kind of makes you think he's. He's also be a dick. not spiritual. He's a fucking curmudgeon. Nobody likes him on any team he goes to. Yeah, that's he a... hated Boston. His teammates hate him. Well, like, that's probably why he's he always spiritual. Himself, so that's yeah. a great point. He has this like seeing eye shit, and he has all these he like weird tattoos wrist, and all this stuff. And but the reality is, in terms of how he is with his teammates and how he exists within a team. There is zero spirituality about the way no. he plays. Zero connectivity with his teammates. Zero, I'm part of a bigger thing. I'm part of something greater Nothing. than, right? Like, isn't the whole idea behind this philosophy is that you're not important? You're insignificant. You're insignificant? He thinks he's the most significant. He thinks he's more significant than LeBron. No, you're not. That is know. so true. It's like he's trying to force himself into believing this stuff by tattooing it on yeah. his body. Yeah. But in reality... Bruh, it's, it's full of shit. Yeah, he found you with that shit. I don't There's you maybe can't be maybe that was spiritual the and have your own sneaker. Why not? Because it. I'm talking about this type of Buddhist. Okay. Like you can't be non materialistic. Non materialistic and have your own sneaker. Yeah. Like that's absurd. I see your point there. I'm even just saying on a more like regular level. Just nobody likes you. All right, there's no, there's you don't no, like anybody. There's no possibility this isn't like a late discovery in his life where he's like, he's he's, he's seen still, that people he's hate still, him. This he's is, seen that like his fucking ego how cost late? him a the week, best. Two weeks ago? No, but I don't know, but maybe like the past year. Maybe like. Maybe the past maybe year, but the fucking, thing that still gives me pause is he still wants out of Boston. He still hates Boston. He's still well, who doesn't leaving hate Boston? on bad Have you terms. Been there? The players who play <laughs> for the Celtics tend to love it. KG <laughs> loves it. KG spent most of his career in Minnesota. Granted, not winning. He fucking loved being a let's, Celtic. Let's be From honest. From day here. one, he let's, loved being a let's Celtic. Let's be honest here. Paul Pierce came out and said that's just that everybody You're thinks a Celtic, it's, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That city loves basketball. And they love the Celtics. There are few cities where you are going to get treated as well as you will get treated Fantastic if Sports you city. are a Boston Celtic. If you can't find some joy being the star of a of a team in a city that they really care about, where are you going to find your joy? With a good coach. I mean, you don't you think he's overrated, but there's definitely he's there's worse coaches. There's a lot of shitty coaches, and he's not he's better than a lot of them. Yes, uh, I just don't believe it. I feel I don't like this, think it's he's a gonna possibility. Be happy like it's a possibility. I just I don't believe it all you, all, based on anything. Hold on, hold on. What's this, what was that? I just don't believe it based on anything I've seen. No, I'm saying there's a possibility. Like there's everything that you said is true, and that's why he's trying to be more spiritual and trying to, you know, all that selfishness fucked up the best basketball situation he ever had. But he was in like that life. before. Exactly, and now he's, he's trying saying to he change. literally realized it like a week ago. Not like a week ago. But he's been doing these pictures and shit before. This is not the first time. He, the, you, the whole flat earth thing. Like, he's very susceptible to this new information. Mm-hmm. He's He is skeptical of the world he lives in, right? He is trying to find something else. He is an outsider. He's the he, most millennial superstar. Yes. 
And he truly believes he's different. He believes he's so unique and different that all these other ways of thinking that are unique and, and different can coincide with his existence. He's Wikipedia brilliant. You read all everything you know right. that's so nuanced and crazy. You read sure. it online on some dumbass blog. Right. Yes. Like, it's, he's a Redditor. Like, he's a guy who <laughs> yeah. gets his information from, like, crazy Reddit yeah. threads. Dives and real talk, YouTubes. I got to say shout out to Reddit because... We had a clip that was on the front page of uh, a fucking Reddit that is booming. It goes crazy if it gets front page. Son. We got crazy. like, what are we almost at? Like 900,000 fucking views in a day. So, um, I, I shouts to Reddit. That being said, y'all some crazy motherfuckers on Reddit. Real talk. <laughs> yeah. some, it's a dark place shit in gets, there. Shit gets <laughs> wild on yeah, Reddit. Yeah. A lot of the conversation goes, they own the banks. You're like, ugh. I don't know, <laughs> sure. I don't know if I need to get in this one, dog. This shit is about to get hairy. Oh, God. All right, hot gosh. What else we got? What Blue else? Chute. Baby oh, Butter yes. and Blue Chute. We got to pay some bills, bro. Shouts to my guys. Pay the bills. Shouts to my guys. Yo, and you got a charger? The legends. The, uh, the motherfucking legends. Mm. Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Y'all already know what it is. For all of our new listeners, get your dick right. <laughs> get your motherfucking dick right, okay? I don't know how that's not the tagline. It should be. Blue Chew, get, get your, your dick, dick right. right. <laughs> we could write a little jingle for him. There All it is. seriousness. Pay up. There, there are no more days of your dick not getting hard. There are no more days of you not being able to go round two. There are no more days of you not being able to be full throttle and deliver the pleasure. Lay the wood. Lay the wood, <laughs> okay? Put that foundation down. There's no more reason for you to have this difficulty in your life if you're a woman there's no reason why your man shouldn't be serving you that pipe when he or you want it there's no excuses because we have blue chew mm -hmm. i'm not gonna lie there are times where i bust quick and when i need to run it back i run over there i get that blue chew i chew that shit up <laughs> takes 20 minutes 20 minutes less okay 20 minutes less than viagra cialis or those other ones that's how nice this is. It's not a game, okay? You chew them out. FDA approved. The same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. So you know they work. Same exact thing. How do you get it? I'll tell you. Visit BlueChew.com. And guess what? Because we fuck with you, you get your first shipment free. And when you use our special promo code, flagrant, that is. You got to use our special promo code, flagrant. And all you got to do is pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com, promo code, flagrant. You try it for free. It's easy as that. You don't have to go to the doctor. You don't have to do some crazy prescription shit. You get in there, and you get busy. Ladies, you deserve this. Fellas, your girl deserves it. It's her birthday? It's your anniversary? It's something? It's Friday. Mm. Who gives a fuck? Y'all going on vacation. You cheated. And you need to serve <laughs> up that pipe. You need to serve up that pipe so she forgives you. You need forgiveness, dick. Sometimes you're going to need a little help. Sometimes oh, you're going to need some performance enhancing drugs. Get you a tag team partner. Real talk. Mm -hmm. Tap that blue chew in and chew her ass out. <laughs> That's bluechew.com. Promo code flagrant. Akash Singh back in the room. Let's get it going. All right, you heard about how uh, the Lakers still fucked up the AD trade? Can you explain the math of this? So I don't fully understand it. Kaz, do you? I'm pulling up. Uh, yeah. So uh, initially, these trades can't be official until July 6th, right? Right, right. But if they waited until, I think, the date is July 30th, um, because Anthony Davis had a trade bonus. So if he gets traded, he gets $4 million extra dollars, all right? He'd have to... Now, if they want to be... He'd, he'd have to go without that. He'd have to say... If they, if they get the deal done uh, July 6th and he doesn't take his trade bonus, everyone's saying he's going to take the trade bonus, they don't have enough space to get another max slot. If they do, if he does take the trade bonus, but he waits, they wait until uh, July 30th, they get more money for some reason to open up that last uh, max spot. I think they're only like 5 or $6 million away from the $22 million Basically, Rob Palenka is an idiot <laughs> and an absolute retard. And then everybody who run the Lakers are absolute retards. And even uh, with this great trade, they could yes. fucking so get out of their own. Basically, fucking way. And, and it's very easily you get out of their way, right? Mm -hmm. I think what they did is they called back. And again, I don't know the exact math of it. I should have looked up the math, but I think what they could have done is call back up the Pelicans, right? And then thrown in more players, <laughs> yeah, just to get cap space, right? 
Now, my understanding is that LeBron and Anthony Davis are the only people that are on the books for next year. But maybe there's team options on certain guys, and then they can. And Kuzma and Maurice Wagner. Yeah, Mo Wagner. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. So there are a few people. Okay. So, um, shouts to Kuzma, by the way. He tweeted about the Rogan episode, left my name out, that shit. So now now you're on my bad list. Okay? Very light-skinned of you to do that. I was very light-skinned. Very light-skinned behavior. That's such a light black thing to do. Super light, such a light black. So light, bro. I did a story on him for paper back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. Kyle, whitest Kuzma. (laughs) Come on, what is he? Is he even black? He's Russian. I think he's mixed. Anyway, seems black. Point is, Flint. Sure, I'm tight. I'm in my feelings. (laughs) So, point is, um, all they had to do was offer up a few more people within that trade and the Pelicans would have just taken them because again you're like okay these are just more people it doesn't matter what we're doing at this point right now right. Uh, so now Griffin is in the position to fuck over the Lakers and if I'm Griffin I'm like fuck them what do I yeah. my dick exactly. suck my <laughs> dick you fucked up dummy <laughs> yeah what do I owe you send me somebody Nothing. else yeah send me somebody else and maybe we could talk that's yeah. it but even if you they send somebody else if Griff does if Griff that person isn't going to help the the Pelicans yeah but Keeping them on the Lakers' books is going to hurt the oh, Lakers. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm playing real chess, yeah. I'm like, fuck these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to let them get two more or one more full. What Max if they guy. offered you Max like guy? What if they offered you like two more first round picks? I'll suck their dicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like sorry. the way you GM. Sorry about that. I sorry like the way you that. GM. Yeah. What if that's the first Good call? Deal. The first call every single time. Listen, well, we we need LeBron. We want LeBron. Okay, what are you willing to trade? Pull your fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's that Griffin, though, man. Say what? The guy from the Fiverr. Yo, Andy, <laughs> that'd be my Andy. GM. That's my <laughs> assistant GM. Get the shit done. Like, he was GM of the year every year. Wow. Fuck these <laughs> motherfuckers, yo. Shout real out to talk, David Griffin, man. Yo, real talk, man. That dude is a. He knows what he's doing. Uh, the dude knows what he's doing. Apparently. Yeah. Um. It'll be alright though. Okay. I think that you know it's how I think it helps them. Who? I think it helps the Lakers. Why? Because they don't need another max slot. But it would help them sign not Max. I mean, you think they're just going to, if they have Max money, they're going to sign a Max guy and they're going (laughs) to fuck themselves up? That's possible. And this, they're like, I get what you're saying, Cass. They're Mm. they're being forced to sign uh, mid level guys. You need that's who you need right now. I agree with you. That's who you need. I think that's how you build a team. I think you even said that last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm with it. I mean, I'm just so done with the fucking Lakers and the Knicks. It looks like we're not going to get KD. Have you seen this? No. Oh, I mean, yeah. I've seen the story. I heard the I, rumor I is that it. Brooklyn is ahead of New York, but that's a rumor. And exactly. Iggy came out today. You told me and said yeah, New York's not something. getting anybody. Nobody's going to the Knicks. Nobody's going to the Knicks. And I'm glad we don't deserve anybody. When he says nobody's going to the Knicks, he means no KD, no Kawhi, no Kyrie. Yeah, no those guys. Yeah, yeah. Nobody important. I mean, this. Is not, to be fair, I said this last week on the show that it's a two team race between the Knicks and the Nets. Kyrie wants the the Nets. KD wants the Knicks. Mm-hmm. This time, two months ago, KD's like, hey, we're going to the Knicks. Like, we're going. The motherfucker lost all his leverage when he tore his Achilles. So now Kyrie's like, oh, you should probably go to Brooklyn. And, Why know, does he need leverage? Guy. Why can't you just sign with the Knicks? I mean, he can. He, he still wants to. Like, he still wants to be a Nick, But, like, he's not playing next year. Yeah. <laughs> like, he really doesn't have... Pardon the pun. He doesn't have a leg to stand on when he's trying to get another max guy to come play Why do him. you... Where does D'Lo go? I hope he comes to the next. Yo, I like D'Lo. <laughs> I like his game, bro. I low key really like I would rather like have D'Lo than Kyrie. Yeah, he seems fun. I've been, I've been warming up to that, bro. He fits I've been in warming with that up team. to that lately. Like, there's something about his energy and the way he plays. He you plays know, very bouncy. They seem you to be I mean? excited by him. There's a little bit of like, there's a goofiness and silliness to his game. There's an edge. Whereas Kyrie's like, he's it's like a Kobe. surliness. It's a surliness. Serious. Yes. And yo, he's 23 years old. He's a kid still. That's right. He's a kid. He's a kid no, still. And no he's real history of injury. Yeah, was there any all... history of injury? Nah. So no, it's like, I now, I think he had, granted, I think he, had like a he scores a lot of garbage buckets, meaning like they're down by like 15, and then he'll hit like three threes in the last two minutes of the game, and then he'll go from scoring 16 points to 20, 25, right? Fair. Mm-hmm. That being said, I just think he fits the culture of that Nets team, 
And I don't think they have to be that concerned about winning a championship in the next few years because they're not going to. No. That's the one thing I, I didn't like about, you know, the KD and the, the Kyrie rumors to Brooklyn because it's like, now you motherfuckers got expectations. Right. Now it's like, you're not the fun, cuddly young team that everybody liked dancing on the sidelines no more. Especially if Kyrie goes over there, gets the guy that led that fucking fun well, young team. You still don't have team. expectations for a year because mm. KD won't play for a year. That's true. If That's I, true. I think the Knicks, if they get K- KD is the best. Only sign KD, don't worry about anybody else. Okay. Tank another year let him rehab in a year and a half if he's back to normal you're good you can make the playoffs you're scary and mm. you let you get R, what's it, rj barrett, RJ barrett develop yeah. whoever your high draft pick is next year develop nick's got to be smart man the worst thing they can do if they strike out on these guys is sign someone else and i don't think they just will. sit tight sign a bunch of bloated contracts for one year get them the fuck out of there the next year be bad question tank to you. who runs the show for the knicks because there's a lot of mouths to feed what do you mean? Like, let's say KD comes back, right? Right. In the year. Right. And let's say you keep Knox, you keep RJ Barrett. Yeah. You keep, uh, what is it, Mitchell? Mitch Robinson, Alonzo Mi- Trier. Uh, Mitch Robinson. Dennis Smith. Alonzo Trier, Dennis Smith. Everybody I named can't pass the ball to save their life. No. Doesn't even try to. Doesn't even look for a pass. Right. It is all guys who go out there to try to get buckets. Right. Mm-hmm. Someone got to feed these guys. Yeah. So- who is that point guard that's going to get the ball in these guys' hands in the right position to score? Honestly, maybe not immediately, but I think eventually R.J. Barrett becomes that guy. R.J. Barrett is a head down to the basket. I'm going to score. The knock on R.J. is, from all mm. the scouts that I've spoken to, is that he doesn't look to pass, mm. and he didn't look enough in the tournament, right? He wasn't yeah. getting Zion involved yeah. enough, and he is just, he gets buckets, there's no doubt, but a lot of people are comparing him to Melo, which is ball stopper, puts up a lot of shots, doesn't get the teammates involved. I mean, he did average, I mean, granted, he was playing with Zion, so he's probably getting a lot of easy assists, but he did average five assists a game. It, which is in not the to ACC, slouch. Which is nothing to slouch at, especially when they're crowding, they're packing that I'm just telling they got you a freaking nature. I'm just, and listen, guard. these aren't always right. I'm just telling you what the scouts are saying about yeah. And... I think that you need a guy who is dedicated to passing the ball. Mm. Dedicated to get everybody. (laughs) Frank can barely get the ball up half court. (laughs) I think. Poor Frank, bro. Yo, you know, and I know, and I I can't believe I'm even going to say this, but like, you know who wouldn't be awful on the Knicks? CP3? Yeah. Nope. 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 You know who? No. You know who would tolerate CP3's? A dickheadish coaching mentality. Just a bunch of rookies who looked up to t- CP3, think he's a god, think he's one of the you know greatest players in the world. Are Don't even put that in the air, bro. Almost yeah. honored by the fact. Problem is, he got four years left on his contract, and yeah. that's too much time. And I, I you know am... who doesn't want to play with CP3? KD, Kevin Durant. <laughs> so I, I, what I'm saying is, if you don't, and also, what do you even trade? Who do you even trade? But. I, it is an interesting thing to see because some people have mentioned CB3 going to Phoenix. It's also it's insane. It's insane, but that's again, what it means. It was a mean. Yeah, that was a conversation we we're having. A mean. So it's like there is a situation where if you have a bunch of young guys for CB3 to yell at, CB3 is never going to win a championship. Doesn't matter. CB3 yells at your young guys while they develop, and then by the time his contract is over. Hopefully these guys are at a point where they're ready to carry the team, and CP3 can go to the bench or do something else. I, w- I would it say takes, it if it wasn't, sorry, f- yeah. if it was ev- two years or even maybe three years left on his deal, I would say fine. But four years is a long time. Yes. RJ, RJ Barrett going to be in his fourth year listening to CP3? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if it takes four years for those guys to be ready to lead the team, then you don't have the right fucking guys. Yeah. And secondly, yeah. like, why would you help the Rockets out after they fucked up? And that that contract only gets fatter as the years go right. on. Such a bad like, sign. It's like thirty mil in his last year. Right. Some wild fucking shit. Like, why would you even help them at that point? What is it? What are the chances of him getting bought out? It had to be. I think it had to be like his last year. I brought that up too, and mm. I brought up the Mello buyout. And I was a mean or you said like Mello got bought out in his last year. Yeah. Like right. His buyout would be so crazy. So crazy. I honest. I still. I said this. Last Four years, time, hundred twenty-five million. I like CP3 on Boston, bro. That's literally the only move that makes sense to me. Yo, can we acknowledge something about Boston that not enough people are making a big deal about? Uh, They're going to lose Al Horford. Yeah. Al Horford. Who is their leader. <laughs> was their most effective player. Yeah. yeah. Consistently effective. Like, he doesn't get the Draymond credit. Mm. 
because they haven't won championships. But if they won championships like the Warriors did, you're right. You're going to see a lot of people talk about, oh, this big man who can shoot threes, stretch the floor, yeah. pass as well, and then defends multiple positions. He's going to get a lot of money to put one of those like teams in the West that like have a chance right now over the hump. Yo, go like, to the Clippers. I think that the Clippers. If he yes. doesn't go to the fucking Clippers. I think fucking Dallas is a good look. Oh, I yeah. Think I don't think guy. they'd be good enough. I think they get to the playoffs, but I still don't think they'd be good enough. Oh, if Porzingis is healthy. They're good enough. <laughs> you think so? If Porzingis is healthy, they're good enough for Al Horford Dude, and Luka Doncic. I'm not and... going to lie. Think about that lineup. <laughs> Al and Porzingis. He's the perfect He's the perfect big man you want to play with Porzingis. Wait, wait. Al and Porzingis. You know how open that lane is going to be? You know how stretched that defense is going to be? Mm-hmm. Just let Luka drive all fucking day. Do his little step backs if you want. You could have Al shooting threes and Porzingis shooting threes. Mm-hmm. Who are you going to keep around the basket? It's interesting. Get a, a slashing two. Yeah. Who's a great, a Drew Holiday? Who's somebody who just gets to the basket? Jimmy Bucket. That's a culture guy. Jimmy Bucket. The Not lane is going to be yeah. wide open. Yeah. Like one of those, I don't know if the Spurs got money, but I think Aldridge comes off the books now. He's a, he's a free agent that a lot of people aren't talking about. Imagine Horford. Got some money. Imagine Hor- Horford on the Spurs. Horford on the Spurs would be amazing. I would Horford love to see Horford and DeRozan, it. like quietly. Low That's key? a good tandem. <laughs> Deontay good tandem. Murray coming back. Mm. Was it ACL or Achilles he get? ACL. ACL. So he'll be all right. Yeah, yeah he'll be good. Dude, I, it, there could be some very interesting positions for Horford, and why is nobody talking about him? Oh, apparently he's going to get four for like a crazy. He's going to get a max. He's offer. getting a, a max. I, max. Try to, I try to max him, but do two. But someone's already. <laughs> he's got the max max. Yeah, black boy, max. Black. max. He's got the black guy Somebody. <laughs> Out there, like I've read a lot of, I'll be on hoops hype checking the rumors. Yeah. Apparently, one team out there is ready to offer four, four for a max, and that's where I'm like, yo, I don't want to do four. So here's an interesting thing: we have a situation where I think Amin was touching on it last week. We had Amin El El Hassan on the podcast last week, Patreon uh, episode, Patreon episode. Yeah, Amin El Hassan, you probably know he started Al Qaeda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. He's a, he's an ESPN contributor. Very uh, used to be a front office guy Both for the, the Phoenix jump. Suns. Huge show on the and uh, right and now. the jump. So so funny. So he said, um, "I just lost my train of thought." What did he? What were we talking about? Talking about uh, Max by Al Horford going to. Fuck, I forgot. What were we just talking about? Talking about Al Horford. <laughs> I was actually going to say Al Horford could go to the Lakers, but that's the last, the last thing I remember talking about is Al Horford, four-year deal. Oh, what he said is this was uh, was the supply or the demand. Uh, yeah, the demand for max players right now, very high. The supply of max players, very low. And what happens in those markets are teams are impatient and they overpay and get under delivered players. Mm. So you're going to see the, the Tobias Harris's and you're going to see these Chris Middleton's who in a regular free agent market would never get a four yeah. or five year max. Yeah. Those are the type of guys that get traded in their second year. You know right. Remember I mean? when Harrison Barnes got all that money? Yeah. It's because of the market. So you're yeah. going to see a lot of those Harrison like Barnes. Situ- Hill. And that was the Mavs that did that. <laughs> and real Tyler talk, Johnson. there's a reason why Harrison Barnes this year opted out. Because he knew. I think his agent wasn't wasn't stupid. He was like, "Listen, they are dying for money. players. You can get more because mm-hmm. this is going to be the last contract Harrison gets. Mm-hmm. That's reasonable. Oh yeah. And I think that it's, he could get. I think he could get two to three. I think three years of mm-hmm. decent money mm-hmm. instead of doing one more year at that and then getting minimums. You could you could finesse a good you could finesse a, a not great franchise to giving Harrison Barnes a lot of money for sure. He's, Check a, tw- he's a sneaky twenty point per game guy. Like, That's it. Not great. You start convincing like, yourself. You're like, oh, okay, you're he scored. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting deal. Uh, just check hoops hype. Blazers are trading Evan Turner to Atlanta for Ken Bazemore. Mm. So you get a more athletic version. I don't know if Ken can can shoot threes. Can he shoot threes? Ken Bazemore, yeah, he's a good shooter. So he's a three and D guy, but a little small. He's like six four or six five. Yeah, but he's more athletic than Ev, yeah. right? And yeah, Ev's maybe old. Ev's, Ev's a little bit older. A little broken. And, but but Ev could always bring the ball up. He's he a steady guy. Yeah. He's not somebody who's going to like break out for like thirty points, but right. he'll, he'll he'll right the ship. Right. But you don't need a guy to bring the ball because you have yeah, yeah. Dame and you have uh, mm. uh, McCullough. Well, now he's right. in Atlanta, so he's you got Trey Young and. You know those young. They got a. They got a, Atlanta. Got a fun, nice little young team right now, bro. Like huh. they got Trey Young, they got a uh, hoarder. They drafted Cam Reddish, who I think is gonna be a much better pro than a college guy. And uh, they got that 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 fucking 
they drafted somebody else in the first round. They had, I, they I thought the Pelicans should have gone after Cam Reddish. I thought that Yo, was the move. Motherfuckers. What did they do? They traded their picks for They their... traded down to 8 and 17. I'm surprised they couldn't get 8 and 10 because the rumor was... They got the big boy from Texas. Yeah, they got Jackson Hayes, who I think is going to be good. But mm. I don't know. I thought Cam... But the, the rumor was somebody was off... And then they were offering the Knicks 8 and 10 for number 3. Yeah. And maybe R.J. Barrett is that much better. But then they went to 4 and got gave up 8 and 17 and kept 10. And that's why they got Cam yeah. Reddish. Yeah, yeah, I like Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish is one of those guys that, like, you know, he was on a loaded team. Still put up like 13, 14 a game in the college system. You know what I'm saying? Like, and those, what, what's the thing called when you like you per 48 or per whatever teams? Like, mm-hmm. that averages out to like a 20 point per game guy. As, right. as disappointing as this shit was, I think he's going to be a really good pro. Sorry, back to Horford. Here's the thing I saw from Mark Stein. Numerous teams and agents believe Al Horford has a four year offer awaiting him in free agency worth an estimated $112 million. Sources with, sources with knowledge of the Mavs thinking continue to insist that it's not coming from Dallas. So he's not getting the max. Mm. See, I would give him, I'd max him out for less years. Yeah. Um, but if he, I, I, I think, think he wants 112 million. He want, well, I think you could give him three years, give him three years 90. You just want to do less years. That's what yeah. these people don't realize. Like these yeah. G- the GMs fuck up with the amount of time. Yeah. Just get them for less time, pay them more. Yeah, I you agree. You don't want them on the books when they That's suck. No. Mm. Yeah. If you can get him two years at the veteran max or whatever that is, yeah. I don't give a fuck if that's $40 million. Whatever it is, give him two years, $80 million. Just get him off. Yeah, mm. but I think for him, it's he knows that, and he's like, somebody's going to offer me four, I'll take the four. It's like they want to stay Phoenix. in the league. It's like <laughs> they just want to be around the game. Yeah. You could, you're only going to make a... Matter of fact, you end up making less money. If you're Al Horford? Right, like... If you can make eighty in two years or ninety in three, I think eighty and two is more beneficial to you. Yeah, the the risk is injury, <coughs> and you're just like, well, let me take this eighty while it's here. I or the ninety because I know I don't know if I'm going to get injured. You never know what could happen. Uh, Give me the ninety. I can invest ninety million and turn that very quickly into whatever the fuck. Like, I'm, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're getting the eighty quicker than you're getting the ninety. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's so true. You can that's make true. Interest off, the, off yeah. the money because it's more money per year. I feel yeah. like I just read a story about like Luol Dang being like this great fucking like real estate investor. <laughs> Yeah, right that's, now that's I think what he you made do. like oh, like nine figures just off of investments, like buying fucking buildings. And Sudanese shit. dog, yeah, it's all in that shit, man. Um, we didn't talk about the Mike Conley trade. Do you want to talk about that? Mike Conley's going to Utah. Good sure. trade for Utah. What, what do you think? It's a good trade for Utah. Is man. Utah a contender? Somebody was saying that Utah is up there, it's the favorite in the West. I How much better is Mike def- Conley than Ricky Rubio? Way better. He I don't know if way, he's way better. He's way better if, than Ricky Rubio. He seems like he's not quite as good of a passer, maybe, but he can shoot. He can and shoot. that's big. And that's the difference between Rubio. Rubio could shoot. Mm. Rubio, look at Rubio's stats. Rubio had a very effective shooting Rubio percentage. Rubio was one of those, I'll let him beat me from deep type of shooters. Right. Conley can beat you from deep. Right. And he's he's just always been a guy that's played very, very clutch. Oh, I'm sorry. We were asking the Knicks for somebody who was uh, oh, built to yeah. feed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would so be new Rubio guy. or Conley. I mean, either. But Rubio, if Rubio's like available, Rubio. he's a free agent. I like, cheap, reason I like about... Rubio nice and cheap for a year, cheap, or two. and just give him two years, yeah. and then just let him distribute. Yeah. Say, hey, we want to get the rookies' confidence. Give them the ball. Yeah. yeah. And like Rubio that. was like, look, I don't even like shooting that much. I don't. I don't <laughs> like it, it, his shot doesn't look like he intended to use it a lot. Yeah. Have you seen like his form and stuff? <laughs> he shoots like uh, like he's trying to get something off the top of a cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, he's got a set like, shot. It's like he's pulling yeah. back. Like I don't know why he does that shit. So but. he's so okay. So back to the situation. No, I think Conley's way better than him though. He's one of those guys that like in any other generation of the NBA, he's a, a multiple time All Star. But like we're in such the fuck. We're in like. The golden age of point guards right now that he's always been the odd man. Him and Dame Lillard has always been have always been the odd man out when it came to point guards. Right. So I think him, he's the perfect type of point guard for a guy like Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. And um I think that and they were already a, a what, a, a five seed this year, six seed in the five West? seed. They got didn't they get swept or gentleman swept by the Rockets? Yeah, the gentleman When are we gonna acknowledge that Rudy Gobert sucks? He doesn't suck. Do we just feel bad because he didn't make the... Because he cried. Yeah, the All-Star team. <laughs> I saw him at the BET Awards yesterday. He really? Was, uh, yeah, he was like sitting next to... He was, like, Is he black? Sort of black. He's a light black? A little bit. He's, he's, he's butterscotch. Got some. <laughs> butterscotch. <laughs> butterscotch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't good. know, He's a great, he's a great defender. He's I, a well, great that's defender. the thing. It's like, I don't even know if he's a great defender. He's just tall, and if you get in the lane, he can... You know, distract your shot, but one on one, he's not that good a defender. We've seen people body him. Eh, who's 
going to body him, really. Isn't I'm, I'm bead. There's like maybe two or three, like, okay, get this big guy the ball and go to work type of big guys out there anyway. Hmm. So, I mean, like, maybe Embiid, maybe Giannis if he has a, a full head of steam, you know, but. I don't know. I nah. don't think he's that Gobert good. Is a, Gobert is a very good play, player. I wouldn't say he's great, but he's very, very good. Yo, the Jazz would have been nasty, I think, if, if Hayward stayed. Maybe. Because Hay- right? they lost Hayward for nothing and then got Donovan Mitchell the next year. Right. Yeah. If Hayward had stayed and was healthy. It that team doesn't would be, get hurt. Yeah, that team <laughs> would be kind of nasty. You know, yeah. you hate to see it. You hate to see the fucking the gold bear report. Nobody calls him that. Uh, you hate you hate to see that happen to Boston teams, but who gives a shit? Um, nah, but I do think the Jazz uh, make a lot of noise this year. I, anybody can. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be one of those weird years where like either the fucking Nuggets or the Jazz come out the West or Sacramento. <laughs> You're I think very we have to see how the Lakers the, uh, build OKC's their team there, because if it's put together and if LeBron is healthy, even without Anthony Davis, if LeBron is healthy, they make the playoffs. With Anthony Davis. That's pretty crazy. That's a, that's a crazy one-two punch. That's a crazy one-two punch. And there's going to be a lot of gravity. Is that the best one-two punch we've seen ever? Like in our lifetimes, at least at the very now, we're having a fun combo. Best one-two punch: Magic and Kareem, Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe was unreal. I was about to say Shaq like that's in, in my lifetime. Shaq and Kobe was absolutely. So Shaq and Kobe. Fuck it. Wait for it. Shaq and Penny was unreal. Different. Yeah. But unreal. Shaq and Kobe better, MJ obviously. MJ and Scotty. MJ and Scotty, but that's mainly MJ. KD. Stephen Katie, right, so like, we're, we're, we're talking post two thousand. Stephen Katie's pretty Stephen fucking Katie's crazy. Oh yeah. my god! Um, Wade and Braun. Wade and Braun is big. There's a lot of great tandems out there, man. Stephen Katie is is. We're talking about your NBA Jam team. Yeah. What is your NBA Jam <laughs> team? Think oh, about it. That's god fucking damn. good. We're just going skill for skill. It's hard to pick anybody that's not. It's Shaq and Kobe, man. Mm. No, sorry. It might be AD and That's LeBron. What I, was I don't know. Because uh, that pick and roll, AD is a better chance of guarding it than Shaq. I think you could get by Shaq. Yeah. I mean, God damn. People, I, I know, I know we're, we're being prisoners at the moment right now, but like, I think people forget just how fucking insane Lakers Shaq was. Like, those first four Yo, or five years. On his feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shaq. God. He was like, if you watch those, you watch those Should have been unanimous highlights. MVP. Absolutely, I think it was like one vote. Off. One, one guy voted hater, for Allen Iverson. Ass you watch those fucking Shaq highlights from the early two thousand Lakers. I'm sure those like Mike Tyson highlights, just fucking knockout yeah. punches, just fucking dunks and explosions, and Kobe coming down doing the same shit. So Kobe fucking, and Shaq is mm. number one, or is is it AD and Braun? Yeah, I don't even think AD and Braun's in the top five yet. Oh wow! I think skill wise, you can imagine it all. But it's like Wade and Braun. Oh yeah, we gotta see. Was it, right? wild. Yeah. Fair enough. What Steph about, and Katie um, was wild. <laughs> Steph and Katie was exceptionally wild because they had three as Clay and four as yeah. Draymond and Iggy yes. off the bench. And we also are really not giving enough credit for Kareem and Magic. I mean, that's yeah, an we didn't see that. Combo. Yeah, that's insane. Like that is absolute. The only thing that's that you the, could knock them on me of, is honestly. basically the fact that um, Magic can't shoot threes and neither could Kareem. Yeah. So. You're, they're not going to really hurt you, but Kareem is also unstoppable. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Shaq and Kobe, bro. Yeah, Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe. It's Shaq and Kobe. I think Shaq's physicality would just wear AD or Kareem or whoever or out. Anything down. I know I, give, I, love, I love fucking with Kobe stands and Laker stands, but, like, like come on. Like, young yeah. Kobe, when Kobe was first getting the fro and really starting to figure himself out as that guy, man, like, oh. He was a fucking joy, bro. Yeah. Before he, you know, went to Colorado. He, was, um. <laughs> <laughs> he played he played with more joy. He came back. That's honestly like there was a there was a decided shift after that shit. Like when he came back, he became more cold and calculated. He talk, started calling himself the black mama, changed his number, fucking got that tattoo and shit. He was a different guy after that. Before that, he was doing songs of Tower Banks and had an afro and wore number eight. And, he was right. in the Destiny Child remix <laughs> for uh, remix. Say My Name. Yeah, like, he was fun-loving Kobe. Then he, he came back and was like, yeah, Did nah. he really jump over that car that was driving towards no. him? No. That was, was fake. fake. No, that was fake. How'd they see, fake did that? Did you see the new one? Yeah, I did. That's why I was bringing it up. But how'd <laughs> they fake that? Uh, Probably CGI. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm so in the CGI. That's Nike, bro. They, the they car could have been work. like feet, like a couple feet ahead of him, but because of perspective, you yeah, that's what I assumed it was. Yeah. Or it's a fake car. One of those two. Yo, son, there's a guy that tried to do it. Did you see this clip? Oh, yeah. So great. And he got hit by, he got hit by the car. <laughs> and his shoe, I thought his feet fell off, but the it was shoes his shoes flew exact. off. But son, why do your shoes fall off? Is that a real off? video? That's real. The wind, the, that had to be real. The but wind. they don't even show it what happens after he lands, which pisses me off because it actually looks like he's going to land on his feet. Have he did you seen it? He's going to land on his feet. Look at it. Is it YouTube? Uh, no, he did kind of land on his feet. Let me see. Don't put any volume on it. Yeah. Don't make it big screen either. Oh, uh, good job, Eddie. There it goes. <laughs> Play it, but no volume. What could go wrong? Look at this. Ready? There it is. Watch Wind it. Windshield. Bang! Oh, <laughs> but it looks. Yeah. No, I think he's gonna get. I think he gonna fall on his back. Go, bro. go towards the end, right? And stop. Oh, nah, fuck. I saw. There's a longer version on that. That's oh, on really? Twitter. Yeah, he lands on his feet, but he like crouches down and like just, like holds his legs. Get like that long version, like yo. Like, he lands, like, on, like, the combination of, like, the balls of his feet and his ass. But, like, yeah, now nah, he got there. That motherfucker And then the shoe was just, like, <laughs> fall. Oh, my words. God. <laughs> that was great. Anyway. He's crazy. That's some white boy activities. Oh, right real there, talk. So. <laughs> like, um, Akash, yeah, we got anything great. else on the agenda? Because we got to we gotta wrap this up. Any draft thoughts you might have? That's about it. R.J. Barrett. Oh, oh, here, oh we here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got my man. He kind of almost stuck the land in. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, he fell, bro. Boop, boom. Are you wearing Yeezys? This is the oh, best oh, Adidas bro. commercial I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh what's God. that? Bang. What's that black thing next to him right there? Is that a flip flop? What was he wearing? Yeah, he one like shoe and one flip flop. Nah. nah, it's two shoes. But what's next? Well, one There's shoe three white things. And one shoe's black. Boom. Okay. Okay, it's socks. Okay, socks came. <laughs> yeah, it's two socks. No, what's that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hoodie? Was he wearing like a hoodie? He's sitting just thinking about all his. So I think positions. he shit his pants, bro. <laughs> Go back. I believe that. I believe that's poo. <laughs> there it is. Oh, he didn't oh, even he's call- wearing a hoodie. Like a skull cap or whatever, beanie. Oh, oh all right, that is his hat. Okay. Shit. God damn. He ain't even Boom. come close Son. to clearing that shit, though. <laughs> oh, he almost did it. Nah, he ain't almost did it. You think he could have done that? You think you could do it? I could do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Bro, he's, he, his <laughs> shins are on the windshield. Look at this shit. Yo. Yo, he didn't even. He didn't even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bruh. He did jump way too late. Yeah, is he wearing Yeezys though? Why would you try that? Those but look like zebras. Nah, if Yeezys you're gonna if you're gonna miss this shit, that's the best way to miss it though. Because if you jump too early and like his feet hit the top of that shit, and you go his... right through the windshield, oh, oh, God. that would be crazy. The shit like ah. he got hit. Like he, I don't even think he cleared the hood. Yeah. I thought like when I first watched, it, I thought he's he cleared the. So he, like, happy the windshield he's alive, bro. Yeah. That's all that is. Look at him right there. He's just going. I should be dead. Look at him. Right. He goes. Oh, I should be dead. Okay. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking for his sneaker. He's angry at the car. He's like, boom. Oh. Yo, this shit <laughs> shot out of his feet. God, Yo, why it go so far? <laughs> That's just too crazy, bro. Anyway, man, we got to get out of here, bro. Thank y'all so much for listening. Are we uh, plugging shit? We will see you. Say again. Are we plugging shit? Yeah, we'll do it in the beginning, though. Right. Well, um, yo, thank y'all so much for listening to another episode of Flagrant 2. Um, get with us uh, on a Patreon episode this Friday. Sign, for, sign up for that Patreon, man. It's crazy to see these subs keep going, keep going, keep going. We don't, we want to hit that seventy five hundred mark so Akash and and Pete could officially compete. Broke. You know what I mean? <laughs> get it going. Um, so keep on subscribing, man. We appreciate you. Uh, we got some good news coming up that you know we'll tell you about in the very near future. I hope. I'm hoping. I don't want jinxes, jinx it, so just fingers crossed for right now. But um, but yeah, man. That's patreoncom slash flagrant two. Uh, give a look, see for the last episode. We really wilded out. We were doing the head buzz boy and a couple other things. You can see the type of goofiness that we get down with. So. And it was educational too. Of course, very educational. Always. So, uh, anyway, man, it's been the flagrant too. Thank y'all so much for fucking with us. We love y'all. Peace. God bless.